Freighters first third down defensively. They are the second worst third down defense in football. They only get off the field. The opponents convert 46% of the time. Raiders go to a dime defense on third down and six. Paxton Lynch in the gun. Anderson to his right. Two by two formation. Raiders twist the front. A lob over the top. He overthrew Benny Fowler. Fowler got behind Dexter McDonald. Tom beat him yep. on the goal route. Just a straight a little bit a of a move. pause at the top yep. at the route and then beat him down the sideline. And Paxton Lynch is very erratic. A long uh, thrower at 6'7", just overthrew him on his first throw of the game. Well, that's the one thing we heard about him. He's, he's not very accurate in his throws. Uh, and starting off this game, he's got to be a little jittery himself. Uh, but uh, our quarterback has to get over that, too. Riley Dixon not having as good of a second-year punting as his first year. Twirls this one at Jalen Richard to come flying over to the left side. It will stay in bounds, take a Bronco roll. It was up four and two-tenths of a second. We'll see, though, where they're marked out. And they're going to give him the roll all the way to the 20-yard line? Welcome to all of those listening to Philadelphia's 31-3 win over Chicago. Eagles may be the best team in football. They are 10-1. We're in Oakland here. Raiders and Broncos 0-0. Zero, zero, two and a half minutes in. Raiders second series starting on their 20. Derek under center. Marshawn Lynch, the lone back. They bring Gamari in ghost motion left. They hand off to Lynch coming right. And he is hit by their inside linebacker, Brandon Marshall, after a gain of about four times. So they're trying to get the running game going. Chris Harris, Jr., who is arguably Denver's best player, is down. I'm not they're sure what happened. Taking his helmet off. Play was away from him, Link, but uh, he is a terrific player, a pro bowler. Tom, who goes yeah. in the slot. I don't know who they would put in the slot. I guess Roby would have to go in. Well, it would change Denver's secondary entirely if he's out. Yeah, Roby is the one that goes to the right corner when they when they're uh, when uh, Harris is in a, on a slot. But uh, I have no idea who's going to be the he's next player. on his back, uh, Chris Harris Jr. Yeah, it looked like maybe got, uh, La Crabtree was blocking him on that last run play. I didn't see anything, you know, bad going on. It maybe he just got the wind knocked out him real quick. He's Oh, he's, he's complaining. His he got, chest. Yeah, he's complaining his chest. He, he's complaining he got he got uppercut in uh, in, in, in the family section. He gets up. Oh, is that what it is? That's exactly So after the is. pain subsides, yes. although he was pointing to his chest. Maybe yeah. it's the groin area, yeah. but he, he's an undrafted player. Yeah. And they gave him a five-year, $42 million deal. Uh, he's one of the best corners in football, Tom, because of his ability to play outside in their base and inside in the nickel. He's not happy. He is no, he's he's yelling at over at the Raiders' sideline. Yeah, yeah. He pointed at uh, Marshawn. Or well, Marshawn was just coming on the yeah. field oh. at it the was same Crabtree time. Was blocking him. As Crabtree was blocking well, him. Remember, so. Crabtree did not play in the game in Denver on October the 1st, so he has not seen the Broncos since New Year's Day when Aqib Tlaib pulled off his uh, necklace, remember, last year. Right. So I don't know if he took a shot. I never saw a replay, but Chris Harris Jr. is walking off the field uh, from the Raiders' sideline all the way to the Denver sideline over on the eastern sideline. So it's second down and six now. So they're going to have Bradley Roby and Aqib Tlaib in their base. Look for the Raiders to go three wide here. And see who goes in the slot till Harris Jr. comes back. Marshawn, the lone back. They give it to him again off the right side. Vaughn Miller comes slanting down. He's able to trip him up. And Marshawn with a good run. Now there's a fight over on the Broncos sideline. Michael Crabtree is fighting with Akeem Tlaib. Akeem Tlaib, I think, went at Michael Crabtree. It's a brawl over on the Broncos sideline. And they are really going at it. They are throwing punches here. Multiple guys are swinging. I think Akeem Tlaib went at Michael Crabtree to defend Chris Harris Jr., something he did last year in a game. And officials also and now heard, they're still going after now Michael Crabtree. Crabtree with now his they're helmet going after off, Crabtree. Is fighting Akeem Tlaib. Crabtree's got his helmet off. They're all going to be ejected, Tom. Right. They're all going to be kicked out. Crabtree throwing punches, going after Tlaib. This has become a street fight. What is going on? Well, the guys down in the end zone are trying to stop the whole thing. Crabtree's going to be ejected. Absolutely, yeah. Now, I remember last year in a game where Chris Harris Jr. was targeted. Tlaib went right at the Bengal player, I believe, right away. I didn't see it, Link, but I'm just guessing yeah. that Tlaib went at Crabtree. Certainly, because he had him isolated coverage on the sideline, and they were going at it on a run play. He, he, they, and then, of course, other players joined in. So what's the fallout here? Well, Crab, Crabtree's got to be kicked out. Well, he's got he's to hope they, they're trying to sort now, it out what, right what now. What about Tlaib? Would he what? be kicked out as well? So Crabtree, Tlaib grabbed Crabtree, and they started the fight. Tlaib pulled him into the Raiders' sideline, threw him down. 
knocked over a photographer. The Broncos came off the bench, including Shane Ray and linebacker Gerald Garcia Williams, and Crabtree was outnumbered time. So the Raiders came over to the Broncos sideline to help him. Crabtree had his helmet pulled off by Tlaib. He ran off the end zone area, but then he went back at Tlaib. So as Whoa. they sort this out, will we have uh, another Raider player? Tlaib punched Crabtree. We have a replay now of yeah. Akeem Tlaib throwing a left hand and punching Crabtree who did not have a helmet on. I wonder if they'll, they'll, they'll uh, watch that filming. Yeah, well, they need to they need to use a replay to review because there was much much too much chaos going on. But on, the, on a little side note, uh, Wolf, the defensive tackle for the Denver Broncos, has taken a uh, cart. He's uh, back in the locker room right now, the Broncos locker room. All right, so Derek Wolf, who's Derek one of the great players. Uh, this is just a melee yeah, this, here. This ain't over. Uh, this ain't over, uh, I, I would think just looking at it, we got to get more replays, Tom, that Tlaib and Crabtree would likely both be ejected for throwing punches here. Uh, Tlaib punched Michael Crabtree. There is no doubt. He had visual evidence here. He threw a left hand, and then he had to get off a Domitov. There are, multiple, here we go. there are multiple flagrant fouls on the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 21 defense, and personal foul, number 15 offense. Both personal fouls will all set. However, both of those players are disqualified. Kicked them both out. I'll be doing it. Well, I, I agree with Personal it. Personal foul, number now, 66, offense, is disqualified. They threw Gabe Jackson out. Official. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced. Wow. After the play, it'll be third down. At third and what, 21 or third mm -hmm. and uh, long now, 15 yards on Gabe Jackson. Gabe Jackson's been Going back yeah. to the play where Chris Harris Jr. got hurt, Link, any, I never saw a replay. What, now, Marshawn Lynch is running up to go at. Well, he's, he's just escorting making, he's, Tlaib. No, he's, just, he's, he's escorting to Tlaib. Because Tlaib's walking through the Raider bench well, right Mar now. Marshawn is something else. He's more concerned with the opponents than he is the Raiders. Akeem Tlaib was walking right through the Raider bench time. So Marshawn sprinted there to be like a Barty guard for Marshawn Lynch. Crabtree's been kicked out, right? Yep. So Crabtree's he's, out. He's so still is, on the Raiders' sideline. So is Gabe Jackson. Gabe guys. Jackson's out. So I think Feliciano, yeah, Feliciano would go to out. right guard. Well, like, Tom, we're only three yeah. minutes into the game. Well, this blood, this this has uh, been uh, going on. You know, this has been hanging over from the the first game or the in the uh, the the necklace game last year, or the this year, I guess. Yeah, that was January first of last year. Yeah, last so year. So the, the genesis of this, what happened to Chris Harris Jr. on the play before that got the Broncos so mad? I think Crabtree went at him. Now they're forced to bring in Brandon Langley. And now, so, uh, they, they, uh, Tlaib has been kicked out of the game. Harris Jr.'s back in now. Yeah, he's back he's in. He's back in. Well, Harris Jr. is the one that pulled the, the uh, chain last No, it was Tlaib. Oh, it was Tlaib. It was Tlaib. You're yeah. right. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Yeah. It was Akeem Tlaib who did it last year on yeah. the sideline route. But Crabtree and Tlaib, Tlaib is a nasty guy. And he was defending Harris Jr. I saw him do it last year against the Bengals. It turned into a brawl. So now what do we have? Third and 16. Raiders back on the 14. Raiders have Feliciano at right guard. Brandon Langley is in. They may want to attack him with Amari Cooper. Tlaib is out. Crabtree out. Car back on third and long. Steps up, throws, and it's caught by Seth Roberts for a Raider first down on the 35-yard line. And as he goes down, it's a forceful tackle in the secondary there. Bradley Roby pounded him. Will Park stepped in and hit him. This is going to be a brawl today, Lake. What a – to have this happen three minutes into the game? Yeah. And what, but the, the good thing for the Raiders is when you give that Derek Carr that much time against his defense, they're going to be holes. So Seth Robert came in big with a huge first down catch right there. And this changes the whole game now. Bradley Roby has to go over to left corner on the offensive right to replace Tlaib. Carr in the gun, two by two. Cook and Cooper go right. Roberts and Patterson go left. DeAndre Washington in. Marshawn's out. Gun run. Washington coming right to left. Now his feet were spinning so fast like he looked like Fred Flintstone there. His legs were moving. He wasn't going anywhere. And then the, the field just got chewed up as he made a cut. He only gained a couple of yards there, but you could see the field give yeah, there. You can see it give, and, and guys that run like that, you know, they, with the, the quick guys, the quick feet that are moving 100 miles an hour, they have a little bit more trouble on this kind, of, this kind of a turf. And what we also used to tell them, coaches, you got to run with your hips over your knees because if you extend, you're going to lose your footing quickly. Second down, eight Raiders on the 37. you got to take a pause here for the offensive coaches. You can attack Brandon Langley. Here's uh, Junior goes in the slot against Robert. Second and eight. They gun run. Marshawn got a cut back. It's hit hard by Darian Stewart. What a big tackle that was by their hard-hitting safety. Marshawn taps helmets with him. 
Wow, this is going Tom. This has happened so early in the game. We've seen two tackles since. They've been pounding hits. I mean, they, they got to realize there are rules now. It's a very critical football game and not have this turn into more of a street fight. Yeah, you turn it into a personal thing, which right now it is. Uh, you got to let that. It's hard to let go. It's hard to let go. It's between a, these two teams, especially. Especially when the offensive line and defensive front link, when you're hitting every play. Absolutely. Third down and one. The Raiders go. Uh, Heavy tight ends to the left. Walford and Lee Smith are going to run Lynch behind that side. He got his feet stopped back there, and they're going to tackle him for a loss. Justin Simmons, the safety, came up to fill it, Link, but they they push back Clive Walford again. Yep, yep that's exactly right. The He's, penetration killed it. Clive's going the wrong way. Yeah. He's catching instead of blocking. Well, he's got Von Miller on him. He's got to win. And Lee Smith and him were supposed to be working out to Simmons' yeah. safety, but Clive got too much involved with uh, Von Miller. Couldn't get out there. My Vaughn Miller has just gotten, I was watching him warm up before the game. He was in shorts when it was raining hard. He's, his lower half, his legs, his butt have just gotten so much thicker and bigger. And he's become a really good run player. So the Raiders got a punt now. Marquette King is in again. Jordan Taylor, one of their extra wide receivers, will return punts today. They will also use Emmanuel Sanders at times. Fluttering ball short. Taylor comes racing up, calls for a fair catch. The ball was up 4.4 seconds, but it was short. Only a 33-yard punt. Shalom Luani is now in, in the uh, Raider deep secondary. First and 10 at Denver on their 24. Combative early game. I formation. Lynch going to play action to Anderson. Big tall quarterback gets it out before he got hit from the backside by Irvin. He gets the fullback Janovich. Good run out to the Denver 44 before he's tackled Holy. by Sean Smith. We do have a flag down to the hold likely yeah. in the offensive backfield of the Broncos. Here's Walt Holy. Anderson. Holy. Number 72 offense. It's on Garrett Ten yard Bowles. penalty. Still first down. Garrett Bowles, their left tackle, who is nasty, Tom. He's a young guy. They lost uh, Russell Okun to free agency in the offseason. Uh, he's a good player, but he, he, he get, commits a lot of penalties. You know, on that last play, guys, they wanted to use play, play action. You mentioned Shalom Lawani coming in the game. He got a little nosy. He came up there pretty quick, and they were trying to run Demarius Thomas on a deep route, but it was taken away, so that's why he threw underneath to the back. You know, when they when they sort out the video of the sideline scrum, Tom, a lot of guys are going to get fined. Oh, yeah. And maybe suspended. I saw Donald Penn throw a punch. Here's Anderson off the left side with a run. Uh, Reg Reggie Nelson comes screaming up from the deep secondary, along with Corey James, the linebacker, to make the hit on the first and 20 that's a four yard game it'll bring up a second down and uh, 16 for the denver broncos to relieve muscle cramps in your legs and feet use their works relief this fast acting foam is proven to relieve both leg and foot cramps their works relief can also prevent muscle cramps get their works relief today at select cvs and rite aid pharmacies or their works relief.com nicholas morrow is now and he played a lot of snaps in the raider nickel a little faster linebacker He's playing next to Navarro Bowman. Corey James out. They give it to Anderson off the left side. And he's tackled by Navarro Bowman. Morrow also fits that run length. So it'll bring up a third down and long. Again, a three there. Third down and 13 coming up. Now, in this situation, how much do you want to be aggressive, Tom, in your blitz package? Paxton Lynch, a young quarterback, his third ever start. But they have a third and long anyway. It's third down and 13 here. Yeah, I think you, I think you still have to you know, you go with what you feel is going to work. Besides that, Denver is being very, very conservative right now themselves. Jamal Charles comes in, the running back, and they go empty set. He goes out wide left. Now he comes in motion inside of Demarius Thomas. It is a two-by-two two formation. What's Bill Musgrave going to call here? Irvin comes through, and a screen, a check down to Jamal Charles. The Raiders are all over it. Nobody blocked Bruce Irvin, Link. And he went in right around Khalil Mack, and Irvin also went on the same side. Yeah. Something we've been looking forward to. And the tackle there, Alan Barber blocked Mack. Nobody blocked Bruce Irvin, which forced the hot. And the quick one to Charles, and Morrow made the tackle well, something, there. Well, something Khalil did, and he has to be mindful of, is that he reached out and grabbed Barber. That's why, that's why Bruce Irvin was free. Yeah. Now, they'll call defensive holding if it's blatant. The Raiders put Bruce Irvin and Khalil Mack on the same side. Something the Chargers do a lot with Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram and of course John Pagano was uh, with the Chargers last year and for 15 years before here's the punt by Riley Dixon taken by Richard moves inside on Lattimore gets hurt and then dropped by Benny Fowler they have two great gunners and they both arrived on time Lattimore and Fowler their extra wide receivers 47 yard punt by Riley Dixon 
Uh, Raiders have got four wide receivers now. The only four they have healthy. Cordero Patterson, Johnny Holton go wide right. Robertson and Amari Cooper go left. Denver only has three healthy corners. Derek now pressured. Screen. Marshawn Lynch. Domitov Pecco chases it down from his, uh, his behind. And a flag is also down on the play. Marshawn lost the ball, but at the end of it, here's Walt Anderson, our referee. Personal foul. Roughing the pass to number 56. Defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. It's on Shane Ray. He went low on Derek Carr. That's a Ray just got back. He missed their beginning of the year with a wrist injury. We heard the wind whipping through Walt Anderson's mic link. Is the wind picked up a little bit here? I, have, I don't feel anything. It's a small breeze, guys, so I'm not sure if it's a bit wide out there on the field. On the sideline, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, clearly Shane Ray, Tom, he was actually stumbling and just lost his balance. Yeah, I didn't see much there myself. And he kind of fell into him. He gets pulled off the field. He's getting shooed out by one of the Bronco coaches. So with the penalty now, the Raiders are on the Bronco 39. Derek under center, three receivers, two go left, Roberts and Patterson, Amari right. They give it to Lynch coming back. Vaughn Miller with a nice tackle there, playing the run so much better, Link, but I don't think they ever blocked him No, on the backside. No. Cut off, and they had another safety come down in the box. So they kind of fooled Derek Carr with his check with me. Initially, the box was worthy for us to run into, and then right before the snap, Simmons, the safety came down and got involved, and they had to account for him. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Raiders ran away from Vaughn Miller on the outside run and the cutback, but nobody blocked Vaughn Miller. A lot of teams don't block him, and I saw Buffalo do it with Tyrod Taylor. Philadelphia did it with Carson Wentz time, where they try to have the quarterback just make him uh, miss in space. That was not the design of that play. Second down, 11. Lynch lost a yard. Raiders on the Bronco, 40. Derek in the shotgun. Quick check down to Lynch, left flat. Brandon Marshall, the linebacker, hit him. And Lynch, who was going backwards, then got his balance and went back more. Now let's see where they where they mark him down. That's going to be a loss again. Interesting play design there, Tom, as they just went to the left flat, and Marshall stepped up and hit him right away. Nobody blocked the linebacker, Brandon Marshall. Well, the left uh, left tackle cut his guy. He cut his guy, and the ball, ball, the ball came out right away without even looking anywhere else. So that was a design play, really. Yeah, and you gotta, if you're going to do that, you got to let it develop anyways, at least yeah. soften up someone back behind it, because as, as Coach mentioned, it came out so quickly, there was nothing to see the seat deeper. Yeah, Penn cut Vaughn Miller, but then nobody blocked Marshall. Raiders go three by one on third and 13. Cooper uh, Cook is left. Everybody else right. Here's Derek Carr getting hit and sacked by Vaughn Miller, and he is dropped. Also, Shelby Harris, the former Raider, finished him off. That time it was a power rush link over Marshall Newhouse yep. back at right tackle. He came underneath it, then Shelby Harris from the other side, and Derek gets sacked back on the Denver 47. The Raiders got a punt. Yeah, he just got up under Marshall Newhouse. Uh, Von Miller did got up under, pushed him back, and then you know discarded him to the left and came fall under uh, right on Derek for the sack. There was DeAndre Washington. He just kind of chipped him and ran out. Mike Tice said before the game, we are not going to not chip him and give him a short corner time, but they did there, referring to Vaughn Miller on third and 13. Well, he's so quick, he's not that easy to chip some things. Here's the punt by Marquette King trying to end over end it. Jordan Taylor will call for a fair catch inside the Bronco 10. He'll get it on the uh, Bronco 8-yard line. First and 10, Denver starting on the 8-yard line. Paxton Lynch has thrown just two passes today, completed one for four yards. He has the young back Booker in, a big back out of Utah. They're going to run him straight ahead across the 10, up to around the 11-yard line. He gained three yards. That is Devontae Booker out of Grant Union High School in Sacramento, tackled by Trayvon Hester, who is now in on the Raider front. By the way, Carl Joseph is back in, but Shalom Luwani stays in, and the Raiders take out Reggie Nelson. I think they're going to rotate those three safeties over two spots. Dexter McDonald comes into the Raider nickel along with Nicholas Morrow. Morrow is the nickel linebacker. Bowman's got the green dot. He'll play every snap. Second down seven. Denver on their 11. 0-0 with three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Play action. Lynch going to roll to his left. He's going to run. 10-15. A clever block. Blocked by Demarius Thomas there on T.J. Carey. And he gets the sideline of the first down out to the Denver 22-yard line. He runs for 11. He's got long legs, Tom. You know long-legged quarterbacks. You had Dan McGuire in Seattle. Dan was 6'8". This guy's 6'7". He's, yeah. he's a pretty good athlete, quick feet. He doesn't run like Terrell Pryor or Kaepernick, but uh, he can run. This, guy, yeah, Lynch. this guy's a lot quicker. And I'm not so sure that was a design run. I think it, well, was. it was. It was. I think it was. Yeah. 
That was just a fake handoff to the right, and he'll roll them left. They will roll this quarterback a lot to the left. They'll also pull option read. Here's a bubble screen to Marius Thomas, a block by Benny Fowler and T.J. Carey. No flag for illegal block there. The Raiders do rally up length from the deep secondary to make the tackle. Carl Joseph got up there, and then T.J. came off his block, and he held that to a three-yard gain. Yeah, it was a good play by the defense. And, they, you know, this is something that's troubled the Raiders in the past, you know, bu bubble screens, but they've gotten progressively better at defending them. Denver runs a lot of them. They were much better at them with uh, Peyton Manning. Second down, seven. Emmanuel Sanders goes wide right, watched by McDonald. And it is a play action now. They're going to roll Paxton Lynch right. Throws ball. Got tipped and batted down there by Khalil Mack. Just tried to roll the pocket there. Not much of a block at all on Khalil Mack time. They had the tight end Austin Trailer just kind of chip him. And then Mack came off of that. Followed the quarterback and knocked the ball away. Yeah, nice play by Mack. Just mirroring. Instead of going, knowing that he can't get to the quarterback, he just mirrored him. And then, and then as soon as he took the ball up to throw it, he went up with the ball and got a piece of it. Denver's 0 for 2 on third down so far. Again, the Raiders' second worst third down defense in football, allowing the opponents to convert 46%. But this is Paxton Lynch, a very young green quarterback. Third and seven in the shotgun. Devontae Booker to his right. Two receivers left, one right. And we have a pre snap penalty here. Raiders were blitzing TJ Carey on the play link from the secondary. We got delay again. Not sure. Here's Walt Anderson. Delay of yeah, game. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. What they're trying to do is they're trying to slide the protection to Khalil Mack and Bruce Servant because in that first uh, third down series, they both played on the same side. They did the similar thing that time, but Bruce Servant was more like from a linebacker distance playing the Joker. So their offensive line is trying to slide to Khalil Mack and Bruce Servant. Third down and 12 for Denver. Back on their 20. Raiders have Khalil Mack rushing over their right tackle. Now Bowman showing a blitz does not come. Irvin over bowls the right tackle. Mack gets through. The Paxton Lynch gets out of there. 20, 25 will go feet first and slide. Feet first. A flag is down. Got another hold. In the offensive backfield, the Raiders will decline this holding time. It'll be fourth down, and Denver will have to punt the football. Yep. Hold on, yep. Barber. Alan Barber is playing at right tackle over Khalil Mack. Holding number 73. Offense. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Khalil is very smart, guys. You know, he's he's using a bull rush and then a rip technique, and then Barber can't handle it. Well, the Raiders uh, forcing Denver to go 0 for 3 on third down. So here's Riley Dixon into punt again. Jalen Richard is standing back on the Raider 30 yard line. Casey Kreider is Denver's long snapper. Raiders going for a return. They do get some pressure there late. Almost blocked there. By Harris, Eric Harris ball will bounce, take a Bronco roll again. It landed around the Raider 38, a roll to the Raider 27-yard line. Wasn't very long, though. The punt wasn't in the air very long, though. First and 10 Raiders on their 28-yard line. Derek Carr under center, slot right. Amari Cooper left against Brandon Langley, who's in for the ejected Aqib Tlaib. Crabtree also kicked out of the game. Lynch the lone back. They're going to run Marshawn wide right, cut back, and Domitov Pecco is right there. Well, it's hard to run that outside zone, then cut back with Pecco sitting in the middle of the front. The great Bengal, he's the reason their run defense is so much improved this year from last year, Lincoln. There's no doubt about it. You got to look, Rodney Hudson and, and that time Feliciano have got to do a better job of double team him getting up. Feliciano got pushed back uh, into position, and Pecco uh, got in uh, extra penetration. Second down, nine. Johnny Holton is in. He's wide right. Watched by Bradley Roby. They go slot left. Seth Roberts inside of Amari Cooper. Harris Jr. has Seth. Raiders have not thrown at Langley yet, Tom. Now they got Amari over him. They may do it now. Second down, nine. Derek back out of the gun, looking left. He got strip sack from behind, and it's taken away by Shaq Barrett. Denver's got the ball on the Raider 23-yard line. He just ran right around Donald Penn. Yes, he did. Shaq Barrett, the other end. They have Shane Ray. They have Shaq Barrett. They have Vaughn Miller. Link, it was the other guy, probably their third-best pass rusher. And he just went right around Donald Penn and strip-sacked Derek Carr and took the football away. Yeah, Donald Penn was trying not to get caught with a holding, but he went right around him. The ball came out, and he recovered the fumble. Wow, Tom. Well, well I was right. You know, at, a, at a great time for everybody else to step up and play and play better 
Raiders are not. It's almost like Shaq Barrett like knew the snap count. He went around Donald Penn before the ball was even snapped. Yeah. He got a rolling start. He went right around Penn and that outside move ran the loop and he actually got to Derek's front shoulder. He didn't go all the way around and get him from behind. He got there so fast he got to his front shoulder. All of these linebackers have exceptionally jumps off, exceptional jumps off the ball. First and 10 Denver on the Raider 24. Here's a gun run to Booker as Paxton Lynch gave it. And Booker will drop on the 20-yard line. You know, very simply, Tom, the biggest reason why these two teams are having hugely disappointing years. Coming into the game, Denver is a minus 16. 16 in 10 games. Second well, worst in the league. Yeah. And the Raiders, a minus 9 coming into the game, are now a minus 10. Well, minus 9 and no interceptions. How's that for you? Yeah, I know. Second and 6. Lynch in the gun. Booker to his left. Three receivers go right. Sanders, Latimer, and Thomas. Now Lynch is checking. He has time on the play clock. Play clock at 10. Raiders said uh, Navarro Bowman creeping up. Here's a quick bubble screen to Demarius Thomas. Well, they didn't block Reggie Nelson at all. He came screaming up, Link. So uh, the Raiders playing these bubble screens a lot better. Carl Joseph. Actually, it was Carl Joseph that came up, not Reggie. Right. First play of the second quarter, Denver third and six on the Raider 20. They're 0 for 3 on third down. Paxton Lynch in the shotgun. And uh, he drops back and a throw a wheel route to Booker on Morrow. Caught touchdown, Denver. Clever play design there by the former Raider offensive coordinator, Bill Musgrave, in his first game, isolating Nicholas Morrow, Tom, at a wheel route and out and up. He brought a fullback. Uh, he brought Booker to the uh, side. He also brought a tight end to that slot on the other side, Austin Trailer. And they just got a match up there with the running back on the linebacker for a touchdown. Yeah, made that look easy. Just uh, for the review. It was a simple route, just a little wheel route. There, nothing fancy about it. No pick or anything. Just and the Raiders brought a blitz that time, yeah. coach. Yeah. And third down. First time Denver converts on third down. The Raiders blitz Navarro Bowman from the backside. The question now is, did the ball be possessed by Devontae Booker all the way to the ground? It might be well, down before and the goal. Down. It didn't. The ball come out at all? I think the ball hit the ground and bounced back into his stomach. I want to look at this again. I'm well, there's two things. Did his knee hit down before he got into the black yeah, end zone and touched by there. Morrow? The ball did move a little bit. Do you see the ball hitting the actual ground, though? Well, yeah, he hit, hit the, the ground, zone? but it can hit the ground as long as there's not any movement in his possession. I think I, he caught it. Yeah, I think his knee's down on the one-yard line, guys. That's a possibility. It'll be first and goal. As he caught the ball, he got behind Morrow. His left knee hit the ground. Then you really have to have a sideline uh, end zone camera, a goal line camera to see definitively what Belichick has been lobbying for for years. Well, it's hard to overturn it, but it looks like from that angle, maybe After he was down. The, play, the receiver caught the ball, but is down by contact at the one yard line. It'll be first and goal at the one. Yeah, he did not score. Yeah. He does have the catch. But he is down, and actually he was probably inside the one-yard line. With one quarter down, it's time for our Geico 15-minute review. Great news is a quick way you could save money. Switch to Geico. Go to geico.com, and in 15 minutes, you could save 15% or more on car insurance. First quarter, Denver had 37 yards to the Raiders, 31. But Denver picks up 19 in the first play of the second quarter. They bring in Pecco behind Janovich. They run Booker off the right side, and the Raiders still got low link. And kept him out of the end zone. Great penetration by the boys up front. Danico Autry and company. Yeah, they went to a double fullback lead time. They yeah. brought in Domitov Pecco, their great defensive tackle, who weighs 325 pounds. They put him and Janovich offset to the right, and they ran Booker right behind the fullback in the defensive tackle, and the Raiders still stopped it. Yeah, he might have even lost a couple of an inch or two. Second and goal from the one-yard line. They go to the same formation. Pecco. Offset right through eye. Lynch going to play action, going to roll to his left. He's going to run. Now he throws and is broken up and almost it's intercepted. intercepted. The ball ricocheted. It's intercepted by Navarro Bowman in the end zone. The ball got deflected around. Reggie Nelson hit it. And Navarro Bowman, it was flat on his back, intercepts the ball in the end zone. Incredible. The Raiders facing a second and goal from their one-yard line. Come away with a takeaway time. Yeah, that was a good time for uh, thought they were going to come with a play action on that one. 
I thought the play action would be the other way. That, that was a bootleg type of play action. And that is the first interception of the season. The Raiders did a good job at fanning that out, Coach. You called yeah. it. Look for the play action. And now, obviously, they had something in store because they had two guys that created a contain. So Paxton Lynch tried to throw back across his body. As Papa mentioned, the ball got topped around. And Navarro Bowman made an interception from his back. And it was deflected there by Bowman. Reggie Nelson, Markel Lee was also there. I think Lynch was trying to run for it. It hit off the tight end, Virgil Green, and it ricocheted all over the place. Bowman, it was flat on his back in the end zone, comes away with the Raiders' first interception in 357 pass attempts going back to the playoffs last year in the game against Osweiler in Houston. They run now wide to DeAndre Washington. He lined up to Derrick's left in the gun, came back right with a cutback. He picked up five. Good block there by Marshall Newhouse before Brandon Marshall made the tackle. I think we should stop the game here and have a moment to salute Navarro Bowman time. Hey, the Raiders' that, first man. interception of the year. First well, interception. And Everybody's comes, doing that on the sidelines, guys. There's no doubt about that. Comes after Thanksgiving. <laughs> 11 weeks into the year, they finally have their first interception. Second down and five. Raiders on their 25. Wild game. Darian Stewart showing a blitz. He comes from the backside. They run Washington the other way to the left. Breaks a tackle. First down. All the way out across the 35. Brandon Marshall on the tackle. So the play was designed to go that way anyway, Link, but the Raiders ran that correctly to the left, away from the blitzing Darian Stewart on the other side. Yeah, and, and the Broncos obviously had something in store because they slanted that way, but the Raiders, as you mentioned, did a great job of picking it up and opening up a hole for DeAndre Washington. Well, Denver had a first and goal on the one-yard line, so the uh, video replay depriving Booker of the touchdown, putting it down to the one-yard line, turned everything around. And then Paxton Lynch throws the interception. I think he was trying to run forward on the bootleg left. The Raiders took it away. Seth Roberts goes in long motion. Raiders go two by two. Derek at a handoff to Marshawn Lynch coming straight ahead. And nobody blocks Zach Kerr, one of their defensive linemen. And with Derek Wolf now down link with a neck injury, uh, he may play more along with Shelby Harris. You could hear the uh, plastic popping on that tackle as Marshawn Lynch got a hard yard there. Actually, no gain. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure how you don't block a defensive tackle on the interior, but the Raiders have got to do a better job. If they're going to establish a run, they got to block the inner box. Actually, they do spot the ball in the 37. Marshawn did get the hard yard. Second down, nine Raiders, 12-12 to play. In the first half, we are tied at zero. Nothing, nothing. Derek in the offense didn't score until the fourth quarter in Mexico City. Here's pressure. Derek steps up, throws. Caught! Marshawn Lynch. First down of the Bronco territory. Zaire Anderson. Marshall pawing at it. He's still upright. He never went down. He said, why'd you blow the whistle? And the Raiders came in from behind. There was a lot of hitting going on both before and after the whistle today. They got Marshawn up that seam for a gain of 19. And it's, it's a smart it's smart play, Coach, because here's the thing. The, the Broncos defense thought because Marshawn Lynch was in the backfield, he was going to get a run. So yep. they had a heavy run defense on. Yeah, that's a very good, very well uh, uh, planned. Uh, you know, this, uh, this is what might happen, and Derek was running the ball with getting, uh, getting the, uh, the football right to him. Yeah, 19 yard pass there to Marshawn Lynch. First down and 10. Raiders, Denver 43. Derek in the gun. Washington was left. Two by two formation. Vaughn Miller is so fast. He got around that edge with a bend. They ran underneath him. A flag comes down on the inside handoff to Washington. Harris Jr. has the ball. Zaire Anderson made the tackle. There's a flag. Two flags are down on this play. Walt Anderson's crew busy today. Forward progress and stop. Personal foul, face mask, number 50, defense, 15-yard penalty. Big play. First down. It's on Zaire Anderson, inside linebacker. But Vaughn Miller, Link, got off that ball so fast with his uh, deep bend coming around the yeah. edge. The Raiders uh, came right underneath him on the run, but did he not look like Derek Thomas getting off the ball there? Without a doubt. And so here's the thing. You go back to the huddle and you say, look, man, you got to use some two. you got to use the snap count because right now they've got these tackles reeling with their speed. Barrett, Ray, and Von Miller. You have to use the count to your advantage, especially being at home. I thought the mushy field would slow down the pass rush time, but Von Miller so fast. There's not too much that slows him down, I don't think. And a play in quicksand to slow him down. First and 10, Raiders on the Denver 24, trying to take the first lead of the game. Derek under center. Amari Cooper goes wide right. The Raiders in their base now. Seth Roberts goes left. Here's a play action. They roll Derek Rudd. Gets a block from Jared Cook. He throws, and it's caught by Lee Smith. Inside the Denver 15, dropped on the Bronco 12-yard line by Todd Davis. Great block there, Link, on Jared Cook. 
on the rollout did not block in the back there to get the block on Shaq Barrett. Yeah, you're right about that. Tried to use the, the action to fool him, but came back, and as you said, very smart to not get a block in the back. You have to time those blocks up very carefully because that's exactly what that ref is looking for. Raiders have reached the Buffalo Wild Wings red zone. Buffalo Wild Wings, wings, beer, sports. Raiders trying to take the lead here with 10-10 to play in the first half. First and 10 on the Bronco, 12. They send Jared Cook in long motion, watched by the uh, safety Simmons. The long back is Richard. They're going to counter run him left. He's got the edge. Gets a block from Cook. Cuts inside. I'm not sure he read that block correctly. And Darian Stewart, the safety, will drop him. Tom, the way that opened up initially, I thought it was going to be a touchdown. Yeah, I thought it was too, but there were two guys, about two, two guys down there, and Cook picked number 57, and uh, the other the other guy made the tackle. <laughs> Did Richard read that block correctly from Jared Cook, Link? Well, you know what? Give the Broncos some credit. They showed good team speed of recovering and getting their safety out there right in the spot. But Jared Cook would have been wise to go after the outside man rather than take him in the inside. Actually, he never blocked Arian Stewart. Right. Uh, Cook blocked the next uh, safety. Second down, two from the Denver four. Lynch, the lone back, co comes in motion. They're going to give it to Marshawn off the right side. A flag is down. Ball start. A free snap penalty on the Raiders here will... Drop him back to the nine, Part second the and snap. seven now. Ball start, number 73, offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. It's on Marshall Newhouse, who was back playing at right tackle uh, in the melee where Crabtree and Akeem Tlaib were both ejected. So was Gabe Jackson at right guard. So John Feliciano is now in playing right guard. So your right side is Marshall Newhouse, John Feliciano at guard and tackle. And, of course, uh, Rodney Hudson at center, Galecio Assembly, and Donald Penn at left guard and left tackle. Johnny Holton is in, second and seven Raiders on the Denver nine, trying to break this 0-0 tie with 8.55 to go in the half. Derek in the gun, Lynch to his right, Cook and Holton and Roberts are right. They single up Amari left, they're going to lob it against Langley, caught, touchdown, Raiders! They go at Brandon Langley. Playing for a keep to leave time. They isolated Amari Cooper in a three by one. He was the one side on the left. Derek a lob over the top, and the Raiders have the lead. Almost a perfect play, really. When the way Amari ran it, he was he was spit up far enough away from the sideline to give himself plenty of room, and he made a little, just a little tiny move to at at uh, the, at Langley, and then went to the outside, and it was just pitchy catch after. Got yeah. a pick on that matchup. Amari Cooper <laughs> has a hard time against Tlaib and Harris and Roby Link, but with the ejection of Tlaib now, they're going to target Brandon Langley, a rookie round three corner out of Lamar. Played at Georgia for a couple of years before transferring. Giorgio Tavecchio makes the extra point, and the Raiders have the lead following Navarro Bowman's interception. Yes, I said a Raider intercepted a football. After the Bowman interception in the end zone, the Raiders go 80 yards in eight plays. Took them 519, 20 yard to the Marshawn, 12 yard to the Lee Smith off play action, the touchdown to Amari Cooper. And Amari completely flipped that corner, Langley, around. Tavecchio's kickoff will be a touchback right through the south black hole end zone. And the Broncos will come on the 25 yard line. You know, they're, they're both excellent players. Akeem Tlaib and Michael Crabtree are pro bowlers. But I think just in the mathematics of it, Tom, I think the Raiders will take that trade. You also lost Gabe Jackson, the right guard, in the melee. Yeah. But they only have three corners. They cut Lorenzo Doss on Thanksgiving after he was late to a practice. So they only have Chris Harris Jr., Brandley Roby, and Brandon Langley. And the Raiders have four wide receivers now. If they're going to put Langley on Amari Cooper, Tom, he completely spun him around on that touchdown. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was uh... A that was a mismatch. Well, well run the route. First and 10, 25. They give it to C.J. Anderson. Cutting back. Tackled by Hester. Corey James. Mario Edwards Jr. The Raider front. All over it. Khalil Mack is going to take this early series off. Raiders now will go to their nickel defense. They're going to bring in Dexter McDonald. He is coming in at the base. They're playing it. Sean Smith and T.J. Carey. McDonald comes in as a third corner. And then Nicholas Morrow also comes in. Khalil Mack also comes in now after this first down play to rush the quarterback on second and nine. Eight, ten to play in the half. Kansas City lost today. The AFC West is up for grabs. Chiefs after a 5-0 and start are 6-5. and The Chargers after an 0-4 start are 5-6. and Lynch throws out. Catch made there. Short one. Good tackle by Sean Smith. 
on Demarius Thomas. And that's the matchup the Raiders will lean on length. They're going to have Sean Smith follow Demarius Thomas around at the base. And they're going to have T.J. Carey follow Emmanuel Sanders around. I think Sean Smith can run yeah, with Demarius Thomas. Well, Bruce Irvin is hurt. Yeah, Bruce Irvin's a little dinged up. He came off. He, he walked off on his own. But here's the thing about Sean Smith. Watch him try to set up a double move, an out and up or something like that with, uh, with Demarius Thomas. I think that's what they're trying to bait him for. And Irvin comes off now. It's now third and four. James Kowser comes in. Denver just one for four on third down. Paxton Lynch in the shotgun. This shotgun, the same formation they used on the the pass to Booker, uh, C.J. Anderson to the right, the tight end trailer to the left. Paxton Lynch gets hit and sacked by Danico Autry. He claims he was not down. He gets up and runs, but they got to whistle him down there. The referee himself, Tom yeah, Walt Anderson, was right there. Yeah, Danico he... Autry gets the sack on Paxton Lynch. Well, Danico Autry, what a great game between him and Khalil Mack. Just overpowering the right guard of the Denver Broncos. Ran a little E.T. stunt and took a straight power. Rafael fell into Paxton Lynch and came over a big-time sack. And that time they had Khalil Mack standing up over the guard, Ron Leary, and Autry played outside length. So the Raiders are moving Khalil Mack around. We saw John Pagano line up Irvin and Mack on the same side earlier. Bad punt by Riley Dixon. Richard comes racing up to take it. Breaks one tackle and hit by Latimer from behind. Riley Dixon is giving some of the best punt returners in football a real chance to return. That was a terrible low 39-yard punt. Richard came flying up. Derek Carr was two for his first four for 18 yards. Last drive, though, he hit three for three for 41 yards, including the nine-yard touchdown to Amari Cooper. Derek back on first down. Donald Penn with a block on Shane Ray, a roll and a throw, and a catch by Seth Roberts out of the round that Denver 46-yard line. That time, Vaughn Miller was well-blocked, linked by Newhouse. Second and four, Raiders on the Denver 46. They lead 7 to nothing. Seth Roberts goes in long motion, followed by their great slot corner. Chris Harris Jr., wide stretch run to a, a Marshawn Lynch. Looks like he ran into his own blocker, able to push forward. And he's dropped on the Denver 43-yard line by Zach Kerr. Good Raiders good. ran a lot of outside zone stretch runs with Marshawn last week in Mexico City time and they're running a lot of them today yeah i just the only thing I, I i wish i wish he wouldn't be so deep i wish he would be a little maybe one yard closer to the line of scrimmage so he can hit it a little quicker well they're trying to set him up with a cutback lane coach but yeah. the fact is is that he's not it, it's not that type of blocking he, i don't see him really as that type of block i mean yeah. a runner they, they, they've, they've given cut. lynch the first down here it's yeah. first and ten. Oh wow chain gang's a little screwed up <laughs> first and ten they have uh, both chain gangs showing different things yeah, gun run to the pocket rocket Richard. He gets hammered by Darian Stewart, but they popped him quick there inside the 35 and dropped on the Denver 33. And the Raiders getting a nice push in the run game. Not only Marshawn Lynch link, but uh, DeAndre Washington and there. Jalen Richard popped that one fast. Yeah, that, that, that's more what they're the, the, what I think they're, they're accustomed to. They look like they're going to stretch, but then they keep it up inside. Yeah, Raiders well that, going no you know, huddle just now. Just a change of pace there. That, yeah. that you can see it there. Raiders going fast. Back, back, back up on the ball. Gun run to Marshawn Lynch on second and one. Breaks a tackle. Pushes forward. Dropped by Shane Ray. Flag came in late, and it was thrown by the back judge behind the play. Marshawn got tackled at around the Denver 28-yard line. This is a very late flag. And the yeah. Raiders already got a first down here. Might be illegal use of the hands on the Broncos. <laughs> illegal hands. Hands to the face, number 51. Defense. Todd Davis. Five-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Former Sacramento State Hornet. So that'll push the Raiders, Tom, inside the red zone now. Illegal hands to the face on the inside linebacker, Todd Davis. Where are they going to mark this football? They don't move it very far. It's only to the 23-yard line. Was that a five-yard penalty? Five-yard penalty in addition to the run. First and ten Raiders on the Denver 23. Derek Carr under center. Amari Cooper goes wide right. Watch by Bradley Roby. Cordero Patterson goes in motion. Now a timeout's going to be called. Play clock was down to two. Yeah. Did they reset the play clock there? They did not after the penalty. They did not. Raiders go first and ten on the Denver 23. Trying to stretch out this seven to nothing lead. Derek under center. Slot left. And now Patterson goes in motion. Harris Jr. following. It's a man. Amari wide right. Seth Roberts left. Derek at a fake to Washington. Throw high and a slam. Caught and fumbled. A flag is down. I think they're going to get a personal foul on Denver. 
for a helmet to helmet against the defenseless yeah. receiver. And Amari Cooper's down. Amari's down. Amari's yeah. hurt. He's out. The Denver Broncos are concerned. They're calling for the Raider medical staff. And Dr. King, Scott Touche, Jack Del Rio himself go racing out as Amari is hurt. His eyes are closed. He's uh, on his back. I don't think they're going to say it was a catch fumble. It won't matter because there's going to be a penalty. But in the big picture, you're just concerned about Amari's health now. Yeah, because he's been motionless since he went down, guys. He has not moved. He got hit by Darian Stewart. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 26. Defense, half the distance to the goal. First down. Got helmet to helmet, Tom. He had a stretch. Yep. The ball was thrown too high. Stewart, with his shoulder and his helmet, hit Amari around the crown of his helmet. Have you seen Amari move at all, Link, yet? Not at all, guys. Not at all. He's, not, he's out cold, you know. So you may be right, Tom. He may have been not cold for a moment. Yeah. But then he came to, and he is walking. He's limping. He's sore. We'll get a full report from Link when we can. First and 10 Raiders on the Denver 11. So now you're minus Cooper and Crabtree. Crabtree ejected early in the game. Derek under center. Lynch the lone back. There's a handoff to Marshawn. Breaks a tackle. Comes out left. Inside the five. And I tried to score, and he backpedaled a bit, and he winds up being dropped on the five. He got contacted, Link, around the line of scrimmage, yeah. kept hopping off of it. A little bit he of wanted the score going out to his left, but a good run. No doubt about it. A little bit of a dancing. They pulled Feliciano, the backside guard, sealed up, and then he was one-on-one -on -one with a bunch of linebackers and safeties. He did his best to dance and make everybody miss. Uh, but a nice little run game. He, got, he broke two tackles on the play. There's no question, Tom, since he was kicked out of the game himself, Last time the Raiders were here against Kansas City, Marshawn is much quicker with his feet and running a lot harder. Yeah, especially down in this area. Second and three. Raiders on the Denver four, trying to make it a two-score game now. 3.55 to go in the half. Raiders up 7-0. Here comes a blitz from Simmons. A lob to Cordero Patterson. He dropped the ball. The flag came in. They're going to get Brandon Langley for a pass interference. They won at Langley again, Tom. You don't yeah. have Amari, but you have Cordero Patterson. Cordero could not reel it in. Ball hit the ground incomplete, but there should be a flag it on is. Denver. Pass interference on Denver, guys. And Brandon Langley. Ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Pass interference, number 27, defense. Occurred in the end zone. First down at the one-yard line. They're going to target Langley now with a keep to leave. Kicked out of the game, Tom. Did work as smoothly going to Patterson than it did Amari, but it still got you a first and goal on the Denver one. Yeah, you, you really... You really can't hide him when he's uh, when he's out there alone when you have four wide receivers in the ball game. Was this a catch, guys? No, the ball, when it hit the ground, it, 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 it rolled away. The ball clearly popped up. Yeah. He caught it out of the air, but the ball hit the ground. It yeah. came off the so ground. So now they're though. going jumbo. Vidal Alexander is in. They got Lee Smith and Cook left. They play action. Derek at a roll right and lob for Cook. He's got it. Touchdown. Raiders! What a tough placement that was. Now we'll wait for a replay. Justin Simmons, their safety, saying Cook did not catch the ball. He's got to possess it all the way to the ground, Tom. He's also yep. got to come in it in the back of the black hole end zone. We'll see. He brought it in with one hand. He, he, he went up with his left hand and, and brought the, and caught the ball, brought it in with the left hand to, to, to the body. Did he now, get the feet down, Coach? Now, and the feet were down. Now it remains to be seen whether he had possession the whole he time. He went up in the back of the end zone. He got his knee down. knee down. Knee is down. The question is, did he hold the ball the, the way ball, to the ground? The ball never left his body. It might have moved a little bit, but it never left his body. They, well, can't, they cannot overturn this. Walt okay. Anderson is waiting to see. All, re all touchdowns are reviewed. He had to go up a lot like the Dwight Clark catch. He had to go up and kind of fingertip it into his body. The question is, as he rolled over, did he catch it? New York's looking at it. The replay official before he actually brings New York in, Billy Smith is looking at it. To see if they want to bring uh, Alberto Riveron in. Running on the field is a touchdown. Previous play is under further review. So now they are going to review it. He got the knee down. It's yep. not a question of two feet. The knee is down as the ball. Now the problem would be, Tom, as he rolled over, the ball was loose. So the question is, although your point is well taken, the ball never left his body. Yep. They could say he did not secure the ball until he was out of bounds. After uh, reviewing the play, the receiver did not maintain control out yep. of bounds on the ground. It's incomplete. Yeah. It'll be third and goal from the one-yard line. Right, that's the right call. Yep. Crowd's yeah. not going to like it. It's okay, though. It's second and goal from the one-yard line. Let's just see if they go heavy now, Link. Well, they went Lynch heavy in. last time. 
Yeah, I know. And they yeah. play actually, I mean, having and run the ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they, they brought Vidal Alexander in. He's the extra. They're going jumbo. Yeah. He's lining up outside of Newhouse with the right tackle. And you've got Lee Smith in, right? You got Cook in. It's Lee Smith. Yeah, you got Lee Smith, Alawale. You're big. This is as big as you can get. You got Vidal in with Cook and Smith, all blockers. You got your fullback in. You just want to go 14 blast here, Link? Good old times, man. You, you could get big. You could really get bigger if you wanted to. <laughs> Bring in Wolford. Bring in Link. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go massive. Oh, absolutely. All right, here's Derek under center. Eye behind. They give it to Lynch off the left side. And he, he got pushed. He got pulled back. He's still fighting like Lynch always does. He did not get in. No, he did not. Now it's getting dicey. Now it's third down and goal. But the, they, the, the whole speed of that play link looks slow. It yeah. does. Yeah, it looks like they're not necessarily used to doing it. That's what it looks like. It is not downhill. It is not fast. Right they're not the line firing of off the ball no, time. No. no. Just a slow. To, is that, that's a wide run. It is. And they pulled Kalechi. The left guard pulled out to secure the edge on that yeah, play. It's called, it's called, it's called 47G. But here's the thing. Now they just got to go straight downhill. Just go downhill. Just downhill. How about a quarterback sneak? Derek does not do that much. No, no, no. Don't put him in harm's way. With All right, back, so no. this fullback here. Alawale, true eye, ahead of Lynch. Same formation. Now they're going to move uh, Alawale as a left wing. So now they're going to roll. They're going to give it a Lynch wide. Kick out blocked by Osamile. Touchdown! Raiders! Now that time was faster. That time they still pulled Osamile. Yeah, well, it was still the same play. Well, they out four different formation, guys. Yeah, they moved uh, Alawale, Tom, as a wing and not a true eye and plus to get had, the edge faster. And plus they had Lynch a little closer to the, to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, what you like, he gets there to the ball quicker. Yep, yeah, sure does. Touchdown, Raiders. Raiders have a 13-0 lead with a point after coming from Giorgio Tavecchio. So wild, wild first half. We are deeply concerned about Amari physically after that bone-crunching hit. Early in the game, Crabtree got kicked out. Here's Tavecchio with the point after. A whistle came in as Tavecchio split the uprights. Did I hear a whistle or no? No, I didn't hear anything. Came from the crowd, I guess. I don't see any flags either. Yeah, see, the point after is good. There was no whistle. And the point after good by Giorgio. And the Raiders have a 14 to nothing lead with 249 to go. Tavecchio with a really strong kickoff leg will soar it. Booker will take a hop and take a knee between the D and E and Raiders in the black hole south end zone. And Denver will take over on their 25. As we look back at the Raider scoring drive summary brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Sign up to be an old rewards member today and earn one point for every dollar spent. Receive your rewards twice as fast and on the go when you provide your email address. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts. Better prices every day. See store or oldrewards.com for details. Raiders go 52 yards in eight plays and 358. Denver had three penalties on that drive, first and 10, Raiders, or pardon me, first and 10, Denver on their 25, Lynch back, throws out left, a short hop. Boy, a terrible throw. The accuracy is issues, Tom, with this tall quarterbacker, at times alarming. He had a wide open Emmanuel Sanders there on the 40-yard line, and he short hopped him and also missed him wide. Yeah, missed him wide. Uh, terrible throw, and I don't think he had anybody in his face. He had somebody a little... Kind of close to him, but not in his face. Yeah, yeah but T.J. Carey slipped down, so it was very fortunate for the Raiders. He had a clean clock pocket. He had a wide open Emmanuel Sanders. NFL quarterback cannot miss that throw. Bruce Irvin is back in now. Second and 10, Denver on their 25. Janovich, the fullback and a true eye. They're going to play action to C.J. Anderson. A lob down the right sideline. Jump ball. Broken up by Sean Smith. Tom, who actually looked like the intended receiver more than Demarius Thomas. He yeah. was on top. And the ball went over the top, and Thomas had to reach up and knock the ball away from Smith. And yeah, Sean played it very well. Sean played it well because that was a little swing route, a little kind of a, a, a little bit of an out and up move. Yeah, wheel. And um, and he um, he played that perfect. Raiders are matching Sean Smith with Demarius Thomas. Thomas, a big receiver, 6'3", 230, not fast. He's following Thomas around, and T.J. Carey will follow Sanders. Denver one for five on third down. Third and 10 on their 25. Raiders rush four. And here's Irvin coming around and sacking Paxton Lynch back inside the 25 link. Khalil Mack was fast. He came around the edge. Lynch had to step up, and Bruce Irvin got him from the other side. Well, because the situation is what it is, it's now for these pass rushers to just tape their ears back and go. Every pass rusher loves it. Every offensive lineman hates it, especially being on the road. Timeout, Jack Del Rio, Tom. He wants yep. the ball back. At 2.31 to go, he'll stop it here. And uh, 
The Raiders will force the punt. They have one timeout left, so Raiders want more than a 14-point lead. Trevor Simeon is Denver's backup quarterback today. Brock Osweiler inactive with a shoulder injury suffered in their Sunday night game against New England a couple of weeks back. There may be a point, Tom, where they have to change quarterbacks because Paxton Lynch is just not, I don't think he's capable of bringing you back from behind. Well, he hasn't done anything today to even give us any indication, but you can't ever, you know, it's their decision to make depending on how they go in the locker room. Whether If the Raiders can score again here, they might have to consider that. High snap from Kreider. Riley Dixon gets it. Oh. And he nose down it. Why did he do that? It'll go out a bit of bounds. Take a Denver roll again. He was rushed. He was rushed. He dropped the, uh, the ball down like he's trying to rugby style it end over end, but he was back on the 10-yard line when he punted the ball. It only went 37 yards. So right now, Denver looks like a team that has lost six in a row. They are just not themselves. This team won the Super Bowl two years ago. Of course, Peyton Manning was their quarterback. Slight yeah. difference. Now they've tried. They had three different quarterbacks, Trevor Simeon, Brock Osweiler, and now Paxton Lynch. He is 5 for 10 today, 22 yards. He hurt his shoulder in their third preseason game, his throwing shoulder, and he just does not look sharp today at all. First and 10 Raiders on their 40. Johnny Holton is in. He goes wide left, matched up uh, with Langley. Gun run, DeAndre Washington breaks a tackle. And then he gets hammered down by Domitov Peko Link, who was just yeah. a beast of a man. What a player he is. <laughs> no doubt about it. He's playing everywhere. And if they don't put a hat on him, they're not going to be able to run interior. We'll have a two-minute warning now. How about two hats? <laughs> <laughs> you want to double-team him? <laughs> the double-hatter. That's how good Peko is. Second and uh, ten. Two minutes to go in the half. Two-by-two two formation. Roberts and Holton right. Cook. And Patterson left. Derek throws middle. Caught by Washington. Blocked by Roberts. First down, Raiders. What a block there, Link, by Seth Roberts, who we've been critical of as a blocker. That was a great block in space there on the linebacker, Brandon Marshall. And it was a nice check down route. What Derek did well that time is he allowed the other routes to develop. It had softened up with the zone. And then it came, DeAndre Washington came open in the middle. Yeah, First exactly. and 10 Raiders on the Denver 46 tab. Exactly right, Link, on that one. 90 seconds to go in the half. The Raiders have one timeout left. Derek holds him at the line a while. I think he audibleized to a run, and he, they, he ran left with a gun run right to left to Washington. Nobody blocked Tom. The safety, Will Parks, who came down, and he made the tackle. Derek checked. That's why they were at the line a long time. Either flipped the run or from a pass to a run. It didn't work. He only gained two yards. We approach a minute to go in the half. 107, 106, second and eight Raiders. On the Denver 44, looking for a three-score lead by half. Three by one, they single up Holton left. Derek back, throws. And Bradley Roby went across the face of Cordero Patterson there. Almost intercepted that ball. He was able to tip the ball, I think. And went past Patterson. Either his uh, sight got in the way of Cordero time or Roby, in fact, tipped the ball. But a dangerous throw there by Derek Carr. Yeah, sure was. That could have been, uh, well... It was dangerous, but it didn't, didn't turn out that badly. Derek is actually wearing a glove, Link, on his left hand. Oh, he I does, see that, he yeah. does not, Is that new? He does not like wearing gloves. He doesn't like even wearing one on the right hand when he broke his uh, pinky finger last year. Roberts comes in motion, three by one. Holton is left. They're going to roll the pocket, a blitz. Derek throws, a catch made by Washington. He got hit by Bradley Roby as they blitzed Arian Stewart from the backside. And Derek had a throw for his life there, rolling out to the right. And a timeout is called now with 48 seconds to go in the half. Denver called the timeout. They yes, did. They did. With a tie, with a punt coming. That time, Darian Stewart, the safety, came at a blitz to the backside. Derek had to run for his life to the right, and then they had Roby tackle Washington on the check down. Well, they had a good chance opportunity there to put themselves in field goal range at the worst and go in the locker with another score, but uh, unfortunately, didn't work out that way. Denver's not going to go to sleep. And the one thing about Paxton Lynch, Tom, he's not very accurate, but he's big and strong. He has a good throwing arm. They've not thrown the deep one yet, I, but the little bit of time they're going to have before halftime, they may want to try to get Emmanuel Sanders deep down the field. Or Demarius Thomas. Marquette King will try to punt this, uh, obviously, inside the 10-yard line. He had two of his four touchbacks Last Sunday in Mexico City, the altitude, I think, threw him off. He had a couple of punts right off his foot that just sailed into the end zone. So here in Oakland, uh, kicking towards the black hole end zone, he knows so well. On this rainy day, he'll try to throttle it down, nose down. Jordan Taylor 
Wide receiver taking over for Isaiah McKenzie who had five muff punts this year an alarming total. The rookie round five pick out of Georgia lost his job. He's inactive today. John Condo will snap. Marquette will catch it on the 44. Punted away on the 47. End over end. And this will bounce. And Cordero Patterson will catch it on the one yard line. Did his butt hit the goal line or no? I think he's all right. They're saying he's on the one. He, he just kind of balanced his body, Tom, on his right knee. Whoa. Cordero and did not touch the the silver goal line. He stayed out. What a great play. He caught it right on the one that as he was losing his balance and his boy, his butt, his right cheek, and his right hand Everything were wrong. almost right there, but he yeah. kept it out of the end zone. What yeah, a play. I, I don't think the I don't think the Broncos are gonna run a play here. I think they're just they're Well, not after run. this. No, no, not, not where they are right now. Yeah, they're on their their one two yard line. They'll mark it on the two. And they will get the ball to start the second half. Now you obviously cannot kneel down in the end zone here. You've got to just take it right if they're going to kneel down. They have an eye formation behind Lynch. They're going to run a play here. They are. They get it to the fullback, Janovich, in the blast play. And he'll push out. Will the Raiders call a timeout? No. That'll be it. Somebody did. I did they? Whistle. Well, I heard a whistle. No. No? Yeah, the, the officials just came in to whistle the play oh, okay. dead. So there's no more plays. The play clock right now is at 30 and the half clock at 26. It'll tick down. So we'll have to wonder about Amari Cooper link, but he walked right by you yeah. on the way, and he was obviously wobbly, but I saw him, you know, laughing a bit. Yeah, he was smiling. I'm supposed to get an update after halftime, guys. All right, we'll check in on that. So, and now the coaches have to adjust. Michael Crabtree's out. Akeem Tlaib is out. Will the Raiders continue to attack Brandon Langley? Now the Raiders have to play the whole second halftime without Amari Cooper. Well, we'll see about Amari. Hopefully he yeah. comes back. But the way he went off, unlikely. But at least you're not going to have Crabtree. You know that. So yeah. you'll have to adjust. But the Raiders will do so with the lead, trying to get to five and six on the year. Halftime here in Oakland. Raiders lead the Denver Broncos by a score of 14 to nothing. What a wild first half. Michael Crabtree, who was ejected from the game, is now up watching the game. In a luxury suite here at the Coliseum. Here's the kickoff by Giorgio Tavecchio to start the second half. It will be a touchback through the back of the end zone. So they start on their 25-yard line. They bring the tight end, Virgil Green, left. Now we've got a motion, Devontae Booker out right. The only running back is the fullback, Janovich. Lynch under center, a five-step drop and a throw. He's got Devontae Booker on an outcut, matching him up with Corey James for a gain of about four. Paxton Lynch now 6 of 11 as far as a running game for the Denver Broncos, Lynch actually is their leading rusher with the 11-yard rush. C.J. Anderson, five carries, 12 yards. Devontae Booker, three carries, seven yards. Second and seven for Denver. Raiders leading 14 to nothing as we start this third quarter. Lights are on here. It's not raining, but it is dark and dank. The Broncos moving from south to north away from the black hole end zone. There's Paxton Lynch with a handoff off the right side to Booker. The Raiders play that well and stack it up. And now Denver will face a third down and long. The third down defense, Tom, in the first half. And again, this is not Tom Brady. It's Paxton Lynch, but much, much better. Denver just one for six on third downs in the first half. One for six. And they're very conservative, as we've all mentioned here in this game. As we go into the second half, you wonder if they're going to air a ball out at all with this young quarterback. It doesn't seem like they want to. Now they're trying to develop this young guy, but if they want to win the game, they go back to Trevor Simeon, the backup quarterback. Third and seven, Denver on the 27. They go two by two. C.J. Anderson to the left. Raiders pressure, throw, catch. First down, Emmanuel Sanders. Their most accomplished receiver beats Dexter McDonald. And that was loose coverage link. They lined up on the outside. He ran just a, a, a late slant. Might have an in-cut there for a gain of eight yards. Their second, third down conversion of the game. Yeah, Carl Joseph and Dexter McDonald were talking on that play. Carl was trying to say, look, I've got you covered upfield, but you got to be a little bit tighter. You can't give them that much cushion because you got a first down. First and 10, Denver on their 37-yard line. Jamal Charles, the leading rusher in the history of the KC Chiefs, checks in for Denver. They actually have Booker and uh, Charles in together. A bunch right with Booker. Lynch back. Strip sack from behind. He dives on the ball. He picks it up and tries to run. Bruce Irvin got the strip sack link. He went right around Garrett Bowles. Their number one pick, the left tackle, with a nice loop there to strip sack the quarterback. It looked exactly like what the Denver Bronco outside linebacker Barrett did to Donald Penn in the beginning in the first half. He went right around, as you mentioned, going right around. And no one tagged uh, Paxton Lynch as he jumped on the ball. That's why yeah. he was able to get up. He dove on it, then he got up. Tom, again, you coached Dan McGuire 
Yep. It's 6 8. Lynch, he holds the ball low like Dan Marino and Drew Bledsoe, and he has that elongated pullback at 6 7. Yeah, but he's got, it's not a bad uh, a bad release. He's got, a, he's, uh, McGuire had a very slow release, and he had no, none of the quickness that this big guy has. Lynch hands off to Devontae Booker on a pull option read, and he picks up two. The one thing, Link, that worried me in this game, Lynch is just not an accomplished thrower at all, but he can run. And in college at the University of Memphis, they ran a shotgun all the time, full option read. That time they gave you the, the look of that, but he gave it to Booker. I think the one thing you have to be leery of are the ends crashing down and letting this quarterback get out and run. Well, I doubt very serious that they do anything of that extent because they're low on quarterbacks. It's not like they got a lot of them on the sideline to go to. Simeon's the only backup. Yep. Osweiler down today with a shoulder injury. Bowman shows blitz, then bails out. Here's pressure. Danico Autry gets Lynch again. It's a silver and black avalanche all over the Broncos' young quarterback time. Danico Autry has his second sack of the game. Yes, he He's having a great day, boy. The other guys are celebrating with him. Four sacks in total length for the Raiders. And now Paxton Lynch is limping as he goes off the field. They showed a blitz late from Bowman, but he just mugged and bailed. And Danico Autry over the guard again. Ron Leary beat him. Here's the punt by Riley Dixon. Richard will catch it on the 33. And Zaire Anderson, their linebacker, will grab him around the waist and throw him down after no return. So the Raiders will get the ball back. With a good drive start after a 40-yard punt. All right, so the Raiders are minus Amari. And Michael Crabtree was kicked out early in the game. Derrick goes in the shotgun wearing a glove on his left hand. Two-by-two two formation. Lynch the lone back. They give him a gun run. Shaq Baird comes slanting down from the backside time. Nobody blocked him at all. He's a powerful player. And the other side is Vaughn Miller who came upfield on Donald Penn. They never blocked the backside end. And Marshawn got grabbed and held to a two-yard run there. Well, it's, it's really unfortunate. Seth Roberts was called with the action of trying to block Barrett. And usually when an outside linebacker sees a, a tight end or a receiver over him, they're just going to manhandle him. So, you know, Marshall Newhouse has to do a little bit to help uh, Seth Roberts before he goes up and gets his responsibility, if he can. Marshawn Lynch now has 14 carries for 40 yards. Not a great average at all. Does have the touchdown. Without Cooper and Crabtree and up 14-0, I think the Raiders would lean on the Marshawn a lot here. Carr in the gun. He has Lee Smith to his left, Lynch to his right. Vaughn Miller jumped off sides. And this time they give it to Lynch, and he's grabbed by Justin Simmons, Tom. Vaughn Miller's fast, but he's not that fast. Yeah. Well, <laughs> every once in a while, he takes a chance. Boy, he's fast. His trigger Outside, is very tight. Number 58, defense. You know, a lot of times these guys are going with the, either the hand tap on the center or the, the bob movement of the center. Well, when you're at home, you can use the sound to your advantage. So there's no reason why Derek Carr can't use a, a audible or a, a yeah. justice cadence hard to, get count. To, to hard count to get some of these. Yeah, I, I saw Carson Wentz play against this team at Philadelphia, and Carson Wentz got Shane Ray to jump off sides twice. He got Vaughn Miller to jump off sides. That's the evolution of a young quarterback. Certainly. Time that Derek's got yeah. to evolve to. Yeah, sure does. Second and three. I mean, Vaughn Miller is just so fast. Off the line. He does not need to jump off sides. Derek Carr, wide run to Marshawn Lynch, going left, cut back run. He'll dive for a first down, being ankle tackled, but Marshawn will never go down easily. Todd Davis, the former Sacramento State Hornet, on the tackle. Link, we are seeing more outside zones. We saw more in Mexico City. Are these true outside stretch runs where Marshawn's starting wide than cutting back? Well, when they leave the backside in, yes, they are. They are true outside yeah. stretches, but you create a cutback. They're not trying to get them on the perimeter. They're trying to create a cutback, which I haven't seen Marshawn do a lot, yeah. uh, but they're, they're trying to establish it here. Donald Pan's hurt. Yeah, he came his out. right shoulder? No, it looked like his uh, was his right shoulder. Hanging uh, down uh, left yeah. shoulder, left shoulder. Left shoulder, left shoulder. Uh, did he dislocate it? Has it come out? What's the deal? He's, he's dangling down. Maybe it's hopefully a stinger, or he may have dislocated his left shoulder. Here's Derek with a shovel pass forward to Cordero. Patterson gets the edge on Darian Stewart. Clever play that Kansas City runs a lot with Tyree Kill. A flag was also down. Going to get a hold. On the Raiders? Yeah. Now what's going on with the offensive line now? Newhouse went to left tackle. Vidal Alexander went to right tackle right. with Penn out. After Here's the Walt shovel Anderson. Pass and during the run, holding number 16 offense. Johnny Ten Holden. yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's still first down. Johnny Holton, the receiver. Any idea what's long, what's wrong with the left shoulder of Donald Penlink? They're, they're checking him. It's almost like stinger action, but they're going to put him under the tent. Well, that's good news. If it would be a stinger, that means the pain would subside. The way he was holding it, Tom, it almost looked like it popped out and it was dislocated. 
Hard to tell with the shoulder pads on. Yeah, it's hard to tell. You know, the initial the initial jolt is almost the same whether it's dislocated or whether it's a stinger. And the stinger would go away in a few minutes. Yep. The dislocation would not. First and 14 Raiders odd uh, down in distance with the hold. Roberts and Holton go right. Cook goes left. Here's Derek throwing out. Backside slant to Holton to catch and a tackle by Bradley Roby. Boy, the passing game when the Raiders are on offense now is going to look entirely different. You don't have Amari Cooper. You don't have Michael Crabtree for the Raiders. They don't have a key to lead. So the Raiders' wide receiver room has gotten really thin now. All you have is Seth Roberts, Johnny Holton, and uh, Cordero Patterson. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, shallow in, as far as experience is concerned. You still have some speed, though. No, but, great speed. Yeah. Holton and Patterson Holton. are two of your fastest guys. They're just not the route runners of Cooper and Crabtree. You also got to be care careful because you got Vidal Alexander, Marshall Newhouse playing out of position. And Vidal's blocking Vaughn Miller. Link. Exactly. Second and nine. Here's a handoff to Lynch, and the whole Denver line gets pushed. Uh, pushes the Raider line back. Todd Davis, Shane Ray, Zach Kerr all pushed it back. Well, the way, uh, the way the Raiders are playing right now, they're pulling their guards, and, uh, and the plays are hitting kind of slow. And well, that's that's kind of dangerous right now because uh, Denver is in a, in a penetration mode. They're just going. Yeah, that's right. They're keying on the run. You're right, Coach. Mm -hmm. Raiders two for butt. six on third down. It's all third and nine Raiders on their own 47. Derek flips Marshawn Lynch to the left. They're overloading the Raiders. And now we're going to have a stoppage of play. The play clock got down to one. Timeout, Raiders? Yes, timeout, Raiders. Timeout. They were, they were overloading the other side link over the left tackle. Vaughn Miller over Newhouse, third and ten, Raiders, three receivers right, Jared Cook, the tight end left, Derek a pump, and a bomb, he's got Johnny Holton open, he caught it, Derek under threw it a bit, but Holton still was so wide open, Tommy makes the catch inside the Denver 10, tackled by Darian Stewart on the Denver five-yard line. Yeah, he ran away from Stewart, uh, from the weak safety Stewart, on a deep, deep crossing pattern. And they left the, I don't know how you could leave him alone, but he got open. And he was in the right slot. It was Chris Harris Jr. He ran oh, a deep right. over route, and he gained 47 yards. So Johnny Holton has three catches this year, 64 and 44 for touchdowns, and now this deep over route for a 47-yarder. First and goal to go, Raiders on the six. Derek Carr in the gun. Richard comes to his left, Holton wide left. And they have three receivers right. Derek's going to throw. And it's a pivot route. A catch by Jalen Richard. Touchdown! Raiders! Completely spun around on that choice route. Got between the linebacker, Brandon Marshall, Tom, and the safety, Will Parks. And Jalen, the rocket, Richard, jumps into the black hole yeah, after his touchdown. Just a remarkable athletic move by Richard. Because you're right, that ball was behind him a little bit. It was a, I like the route, the call of the route, because that's the guy that leave alone, and he just made a great catch. Yeah, he had to reach over his outside shoulder link to make that catch, but he got it and went right in the end zone before Parks hit him. And he found a soft spot in that zone the Broncos were covering. There's the extra point by Giorgio Tavecchio. And the Raiders now have Paxton Lynch down three touchdowns. Flag now. Giorgio slipped, too. Oh, no, no. He, got hit. he got hit. He, he got, got hit. hit. They roughed yeah. him? Yeah, they roughed oh, him. Oh, they hit him after. I think Justin Simmons. That should be a roughing the kicker Running call. Running into the kicker, Running number into 27 him. of the defense. That penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. The try is good. Six play, 66 yard drive. Took the Raiders 446 to get their third touchdown of the game. Short kickoff by Tavecchio, returnable. Devontae Booker from the one comes right. Hit by Shalom Luani, who Ooh. picks him up and plants him on the 15 yard line. Shalom is playing in front of his mom and dad, two sisters, and her brother, who all came into town for Thanksgiving to watch him play. First time they've seen him play since high school. At that last Raider drive, it was a big one to Johnny Holton, the 47-yarder. Jalen Richard caught the touchdown. Uh, Johnny Holton did catch a five-yarder before that, so he's caught four passes this year. The 47-yard deep one here, a 64-yard touchdown in Denver, and a 44-yarder in Miami. All he does is go deep. 21-0, Paxton Lynch under center, Jamal Charles the back. They got a two-by-two -two formation. They run Charles up the middle, and the Raiders... Charles, who for a slender guy, slight to build guy time, is really drives hard. He got contacted about a yard or two past the line. He winds up picking up 
three or four before Trayvon Hester drops him. He still scares me, <laughs> Greg. He, I still remember him running all those screens. Uh, four touchdowns, Link, all on the same play, the screen play. <laughs> exactly. You would think we would have been able Years to stop ago. it after the second one, right? He's uh, the all-time leading rusher in Chiefs history, 7,260 yards there. Had serious ACL problems. Had uh, each one tear, each knee. And then last year, he had surgery on both knees again. But he's still going strong at age 30. Second and seven, Lynch in the gun. And here's a throw out left, a high throw and a catch by Demarius Thomas. Sean Smith has covered him well today, putting size over size. And now it's third down coming up for the beleaguered Broncos. Paxton Lynch, they're trying to develop this young quarterback. John Elway traded up five spots to take him with a 26th overall pick in 2016. And they've got to determine whether it's just a bit of late bloomer out of a college shotgun offense at Memphis or if he just is going to have a hard transition. Third and two, he's in the gun. The Raiders showing blitz. They're going to roll the pocket right. Lynch throws. It is caught. And Emmanuel Sanders extending the ball with his right hand. Where are they going to mark him out? He had to, to get to the 25. Didn't make it. He's short. Short. He's short. All right, they're going to challenge this. Broncos are going to challenge this. Well, they almost have to. Really. What would happen to his ankle? He didn't roll the foot at all, and all he right. was forced to hop on his left foot. And then what you saw, Link, was as he got towards the the, the sideline, the side line, he just went down. The coaches told him to go down. To give, I, I thought they did yeah, it to he, give Vance Joseph a, cha a chance to review it, see if they need a challenge because he's short. He hurt himself before he even threw the ball time. Yeah, you he, can see he did not want to put any weight on that right foot. He's limping over. Uh, now, they would have to punt either, either way, Tom. I mean, you're on your own 24. There's 4.55 to go third quarter. I understand you're down 21 nothing, but they would have to punt if they don't get this. I think he's got the first down. I thought he had it. I thought he angle. had it live, too. Yeah, I thought he had it from my Now, angle. from the other perspective, it's 21 to nothing. But Trevor Simeon is a far better player at this stage of his career. He has twice won training camp battles last year and this year to take the job from Paxton Lynch time. So this is the Lynch injury, whatever it is that happened to him on the lower right leg. Is, and the Raiders are up 21 to nothing. You hope they can hold on here. But this gives the Broncos at least a passing game chance to come back in the game. Yeah, it certainly does, yeah. It does, and uh, th this is going to really be close. Now, you're, you're now not convinced did he got the first get down, that, huh? Did that, did that left foot go out before yeah, yeah, he crossed that, over? Yeah, that's, that's the one thing. I, I, I don't think so. I think the left foot did not quite hit that sideline. Again, you really need an angle right down the goal, right yeah. down the 25-yard line to tell definitively. Otherwise, the camera will lie to you. I don't know. Also, but now, you also don't know whether the ball went out uh, in, in his tree. You know, it's his line. Yeah. It went out before he got to the pile. Well, you'd have to think since if his foot did not get out, did the ball. We got a better angle coming from the uh, end zone now. Okay, the one they put on TV, they keep looking at that left foot. His foot's not After out. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Yep. It's fourth down. Denver will be charged. They did not say first. confirmed. Time they just don't have the second. visual evidence to yep. do this. So Riley Dixon will come in and punt. Now, you have to have an alert for a fake. The Raiders did it in a similar situation, not down 21 to nothing. But they, they executed a fake. Remember, in Denver, it didn't go well. Well, the Raiders got their normal defense in there, guys, right now. So they're, they're playing it safe. You got to be ready. So Casey Kreider will long snap it to Riley Dixon. He is standing on the 10. He will punt the ball away. Eddie Vanderdose put pressure on him out of the regular defense. A fair catch called for by Jalen Richard on the Raider 33 yard line. 448 to play. It was a 42 yard punt by Riley Dixon. Second year kicker to Syracuse and no return. So if the Raiders win, they're five and six. Chargers five and six. KC would be six and five and sliding. Gun run. Marshawn Lynch coming right to left gets wide, and Adam Gotsis, the guy that need Derek Carr in the back in Denver, makes the tackle along with Domitov Pecco, who's in on every single run tackle. I think all day, Lake. He is just yeah. a fabulous football player. He Domitov Pecco. He is a force, and he gets great penetration that time. A Rodney Hudson. You know, the center's got to snap the ball, but then you got to find a way to get pressure, uh, get push on a big defensive tackle, it's not an easy task. Pecco had a stomach bug this week. They weren't sure he was going to play, but he is, obviously. It's his 123rd consecutive start in 11 years in Cincinnati. Amazingly, never made a Pro Bowl. Uh, what a force he is. 404 to play in the game. Second and seven Raiders. Derek had a gun run again to Marshawn Lynch. Cut back. Vaughn Miller will throw him down. Actually propelled him forward for a couple of more. 
Raiders running that wide run a lot with a cutback in. Not blocking Vaughn Miller from the backside. And Vaughn ran down Lynch. Gain of six. It'll be third and short. Third and one coming up for the Raiders. Paxton Lynch is seated over on the Denver sideline. Trevor Simeon is warming up. You have to think they would go to Simeon, who was the starter in the beginning of the year. He had a terrible, terrible game. October the 30th in Kansas City, where he threw three interceptions, and they benched him after that for Brock Osweiler, who went 0-3. Brock is down today with a shoulder injury. Third and one. Derek under center. Better run. Lynch, nobody blocked Vaughn Miller. And he came in and got Marshawn right in the kneecap. What a shot that was, Link, by Vaughn Miller. You got to block him. You got to block he him. He went right around Lee Smith. But yeah, you, you also got to use your you got to use your snap count to your advantage. He's jumping off. He's re timing up, and he's just going right around. He's so quick. You got to block him though. Right time. He just uh, Lee Smith kind of jumped inside of him, and Vaughn Miller just beat him on the outside. Yeah, but Lee Smith also shortened the corner by doing that. Yeah, so he, he didn't have very far to go with to, to get, get around that corner and go right down the line of scrimmage. He's going to catch any, anything from behind if you, if you allow him to do that. He's obviously a great pass rusher, but Vaughn Miller has become a really good run player. Not quite Khalil Mack, but he's gotten good. Marquette King with a high punt. Jordan Taylor will call for a fair catch. He'll backpedal. Actually let the ball get into his uh, chest plate. Caught it high, but he secured it. Johnny Holton was bearing down on him and Cordero Patterson, 51-yard punt by Marquette. It was up 5.1 seconds. What a blast. So Denver will turn to Trevor Simeon now at quarterback as Paxton Lynch, largely ineffective and now injured, as some kind of a, a right lower leg injury, an ankle or maybe an Achilles. Trevor Simeon, who began the year as their starting quarterback, He's thrown nine touchdown passes this year, ten interceptions. He's also lost two fumbles. He played well last year when he was healthy, but he's been turnover prone this year. Where's number 13 on his white Denver Uni? Reggie Nelson, a blitz. Simeon up the left sideline. The receiver ran an outcut to Marius Thomas, and Simeon threw it up the sideline time. So the first play... They are off the playbook page there, the quarterback and the receiver, Demarius Thomas. Yeah, he threw it as if he thought Thomas was going to run a, a, an up pattern, just a go pattern, but uh, he didn't. He ran, a, he ran an out pattern. Trevor Simeon beat the Raiders last year in Denver on January the 1st. He also beat the Raiders this year on October the 1st, second and 10. Denver on their seven. Simeon in the gun. Kowser a push, a throw out left, and it's wide. He had to get it over the top of Reggie Nelson, the safety who flashed underneath to Marius Thomas Link on the outcut. Sean Smith took on top, and uh, Reggie took underneath. Re Sean Smith has played really well today. He has covered Demarius Thomas really well. That he has, and that time he used the cushion to his advantage, doking the quarterback into thinking he had the out route. But as you mentioned, Reggie Nelson was sitting in that area, a better thrown ball. Reggie might have came away with a pick. Denver Broncos are saying the Paxton Lynch injury is an ankle injury, and he will not come back in this game. Third down and 10. Denver up against the black hole end zone. Paxton Lynch has C.J. Anderson, the former Cal starter, was right. Emmanuel Sanders goes in long motion, followed by T.J. Carey. He fakes the gun run. He throws to Sanders. Morrow's there. All the black jerseys are on Emmanuel Sanders. How well, Tom, are the Raiders playing these Bronco bubbles today? All over him. Nicholas Morrow yeah. so fast. Khalil yeah. Mack got out there. Nicholas Morrow was over there before the defensive backs were there. I mean, he, he was just a flash. That he was, was there when the ball arrived. That, that was an impressive defensive stand there. That's what happens when you when you uh, get one divisional. That's how the defense can play if they have the talent to do so. Riley Dixon standing in D and Raiders in the black hole end zone will put it away two yards deep. This is his best punt of the game. Jalen Richard, it was shallow, goes way back. He outkicked his coverage. Latimer lost him, the gunner. And then Richard runs down the sideline. I got a block in the back here on Corey, Corey James. James. Yeah, Corey James blocked Two flags back. came down for the same play. It was a 58 yard punt by Riley Dixon, who had his best effort when the Broncos needed it the most. It was up four, nine tenths of a second. And the return is going to be lessened because of an illegal block in the back by 57, Corey James. The return. Illegal block in the back, number 57, receiving team. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Yeah, Paxton Lynch showing some emotion on the sideline. I, I feel kind He's of bad. Crying. You know, yeah, I haven't been a quarterback myself. I feel bad for it because this was his big chance. So they've been talking about it, and and, uh, and he just didn't get it done. Yeah, he is uh, noticeably weeping. Yep. 
on the sideline. Paxton Lynch, only the fourth quarterback the Denver Broncos have ever drafted in the first round. Not even John Elway. He was technically drafted by the Baltimore Colts and forced to trade to Denver. And, of course, Sal Davis wanted to bring him to the Raiders. Yeah. It was Tommy Maddox in 92, Jay Cutler in 06, Tim Tebow in 2010, and then Paxton Lynch in 2016, number 26 overall. 137 to play. Raiders do not go under center. They put Derek in the shotgun with Lynch to his right. And they're going to fake the gun run and roll Derek right. Derek throws an out cut, comeback route, going down to his knees to make the catch. Cordero Patterson, he's got the catch on Bradley Roby. Nicely done out to the Raider 45-yard line. So good work there by Cordero Patterson, Tom, on the, uh, the out cut with a comeback twist to get his knees down to secure that catch and gain 13 yards. Yeah, that's a, uh, an easy throw for Derek. Just moves, and then he gets his feet settled. He throws it, throws it low and outside so that nobody else can get it but the receiver. Raiders even with a 21 to nothing lead. Go right back up on the ball and quick snap. The uh, Broncos with a gun run. Todd Davis able to make the tackle there after a short gain by Marshawn Lynch. See if the Raiders throttle down a little bit with a lead now. One minute to play third quarter. Raiders up 21 to nothing. The New York Giants will be in next Sunday. They have had a miserable year, lost on uh, Thanksgiving night in Washington. Raiders trying to get to 6-6 six and six and give themselves a chance down the stretch in the last four games of the year. There's a gun run to Lynch coming left. Marshawn, look at his knees flying up. A flag down, two flags down. The Raiders hold Lynch. Yeah, Lee Smith got away, got a hold. There's Walt Anderson. Holding number 86, offense. Ten-yard penalty, still second down. Interesting, like the Raiders are trying to run wide, which is smart to avoid Domitov Pecco. And they're doing it out of a shotgun. You would think with a lead like this, you want to get into center more. But uh, Marshawn obviously in the gun a lot in his Seattle days with Russell Wilson. And they're running him out of the gun. And that time Lee Smith kind of led him there, but he grabbed Shaq Barrett around the yeah. shoulder pad. It was almost like a, a shotgun lead with yeah. uh, Lee Smith being the, 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 the lead back. Uh, for the blocker on the middle linebacker or the l linebacker in that area. And Lynch was lined up to the right of yeah. Carr in the gun, Lee Smith to the left, and the run came from right to left, and Lee Smith was the lead blocker. Yep. He just grabbed Barrett around the shoulder pad. Second and 18 now. This should be the last play of the third quarter. Just uh, 17 seconds to go. Derrick takes the snap, a lob over the top to Washington. He breaks a tackle there. What a tackle that was he broke of a uh, Adam Gotsis, the guy that need Derek in the back and fractured the bones. DeAndre able to come off of that, come forward. Rodney Hudson got pushed back by Zach Kerr, and that'll be the final play. The Raiders have 18 first downs to Denver's three, and they have outgained them 252 yards to 66. They have completely dominated this game. Third and 12, Raiders' first play of the fourth quarter. Derek in the gun, Richard. Flare out right block from Seth Roberts. Got a lot of distance to cover here. They will not get it. That's a tough assignment there, asking Seth Roberts link to block all those white jerseys. Yeah. Shane Ray got off the uh, the block and Brandon Marshall, and they were able to make the tackle at midfield. So Marquette King will come in and punt. Sort of the equivalent of a, almost like a tunnel screen where you've got a single blocker receiver out there, and you're just trying to catch a defense slipping. Chris That's Harris Jr. is uh, limping as he goes over to the Denver sideline. Yeah, he's getting uh, some attention from the trainer when he, when he does so. All right, Denver, with this loss, this will drop them to 3-8, and eight, and this will be their seventh consecutive loss, which will be the longest going back to uh, the pre-merger, 1970. They haven't had a losing streak like this since the 60s when they were horrible. Marquette King with the punt, and it's a fair catch called there by Jordan Taylor. The wide receiver. First and 10, Denver on the seven-yard line. Here's Trevor Simeon dropping back into the end zone to throw. Throws out left wide off the hands of the tight end. Virgil Green covered by Navarro Bowman. Incomplete. Good rush there by James Kowser by Hester Link. Got a good push. Uh, push yeah. and Simeon dropped back into the uh, black end zone there before he threw the ball. Raiders have four quarterback sacks today. Two from Bruce Irvin and two from Danico Autry who's become, Link, a real pass-rushing force in the middle of the Raider front. Well, he's taking advantage of his opportunities. More importantly, all the intention of Bruce Irvin and Khalil Mack. It's opened up opportunities for him to get his, his sacks in, and he's taking full advantage of it. Khalil is out now. James Kowser will line up at right end. Irvin at left end. Simeon a play action back in the end zone. Rolls out to his right. Throws. Catch. Virgil Green breaks a tackle. His knee went down. He tried to kind of crawl forward. Reggie Nelson slammed him. But he was under tackle at around the 22-yard line. 
First and 10, Denver after a 17-yard gain to the tight end, Virgil Green. Well, there was some confusion there because they actually had two guys wide open right in the middle of an area. Two guys in that zone that were open. First and 10, Denver with 13.35 to play in the game. They had a five-man rush, so I'm not sure what kind of a zone they can play. There's going to be some gaps. Raiders have flipped Kauser and Irvin. There's a play action. Irvin trying for the hat trick. Comes around the block, but Simeon going to roll to his right. Eludes Reggie Nelson, and Reggie runs him down, hunts him down with a nice tackle around the hips to drop him. Nicely done by Nelson. Simeon will avoid the sack and gain four yards, but Reggie close fast. Second down coming up for Denver with 13 minutes to play in the game. Raiders going back to their nickel. Again, it's been in the base. Sean Smith matching up with Demarius Thomas. T.J. Carey matching up with Emmanuel Sanders. And then in the nickel, Dexter McDonald comes in and Carey goes inside. Obi Melifonwu has not played in, in from defense. Here's Simeon throwing a lob left. Wide open is trailer the tight end. He says, pushes back on Reggie Nelson and picks up a first down. That may be Denver's biggest play of the game. Yeah, Inside the is, Raider yeah. 40, they finally tackle this big tight end, Austin Trailer, who was built like a tractor trailer, dropped on the 39-yard line. That was well, a 34-yard yeah. gain, Coach. If you're, try to try, if you're going to try to tackle him high, you better be prepared to take it the load uh, instead of going down low and cutting his legs out. Well, Trevor Sean Smith that, was slimping, Link. Well, yeah, Ch Sean Smith came on the corner blitz, didn't he? Did I see that, guys, on yeah. that last play? Trevor Simeon was limping. They're out of quarter, quarterbacks today. Here's a... A gun run draw to Devontae Booker. He pecks forward for a couple. And Raiders have been blitzing more. They, they never blitz Sean Smith. He's an outside guy, and he's not real fast. So calling his number, Tim, dialing him up, he's not going to get there. That's a strange one. Normally yeah. they blitz a slot corner like a T.J. Carey. Second and seven. John Pagano has been more aggressive today. Here's uh, Bruce Irvin and Ron Bowles. Cuts inside. Simeon throws. Catch by Benny Fowler. First down, Denver right at the Raider 29-yard line. We'll see where they spot him. Trevor Simeon, Tom, is just a much better quarterback at this stage than Paxton Lynch. But Denver, they may not have a future quarterback on the roster with Osweiler, Simeon, and Lynch. And this team won the Super Bowl two years ago. Yeah. First and 10. Three-by-one formation for Denver. Gun run. No, play action. He could have given it to Booker for a huge gain. They throw out to Fowler. And he's hit by T.J. Carey and then hit by Reggie Nelson. It's a three-yard gain. Had he handed the ball off to Booker, Link, that would have been a gaping hole off the left side, but he pulled it and threw it. You're absolutely right. The way Bruce Irvin went upfield, there would have been a huge hole if he would have given it to him. Second and six, under 11 minutes to play in the game. Denver won nine games last year. They were 4-0 to start the year. Uh, they, they have won at least nine games for six straight years. That streak likely to end with this loss, they would fall to three and eight. That would mean the best they can get is eight and eight. Second and six. They're down 21 points with 10 and a half to play. Seeming get a lob one for the end zone. He overthrew Trailer. Trailer was open, Tom. And he got uh, covered there by T.J. Carey, I think that was. And, and he was open. A better ball. That could be a touchdown. Well, he, there was some space, but it had to be a perfectly thrown ball. And, and he had to get it over the, over the linebackers that were underneath yeah, Shalom Luwani lurking around there and T.J. Carey over the top. Shalom Luwani's playing a lot of snaps today in the Raider deep secondary link. I think Carl Joseph, Shalom, and Reggie Nelson have kind of divvied up three over two today. It looks like there's a little bit of confusion out there with some of their coverages. they got to be careful. Third and six. This game is not over. 21 nothing with ten and a half to play. Simeon back on third down. Steps up, throws out right too high off the hands Ooh. and fingertips of, uh, of Emmanuel Sanders. Incomplete coverage there by Dexter McDonald with Shalom Luwani also coming over and Morrow, the fast linebacker dropping. Now will the Broncos go for the field it looks goal? Looks like they, they're going for the fourth down. Or the fourth down. They're trying to avoid, uh, they're trying to win the game. They were shut out a few weeks ago for the first time in years. They lost in LA to the Chargers 21 to nothing. They had a consecutive uh, game non shutout streak for years. 10-27 to play. Demarius Thomas goes left. They're late to get lined up here. Play clock at four, three. They're still moving. Two, one. They barely get it off in time. Simeon rolling right. Get a lot for the end zone for Latimer. Touchdown. He beat T.J. Carey. And he was in the right slot, it looked like. He ran kind of a wheel route, Tom, to the outside. He got behind T.J. Carey and Trevor Simeon. 
with a touchdown to get the Broncos on the board now, 21 to 6. TJ had him the whole way, Tom. He was on yep. top of him. He just got run by at the end of the route. Yeah, he just misjudged, misjudged his angle and got behind him and got it on his left on his hip. Randy McManus makes the extra point, splitting the black hole uprights, and the Broncos are on the board. This game's not over. Six, or actually 10 plays, 93 yards, 348 off the clock. Before that drive, they had 66 yards of total offense. 25-yard pass to uh, Latimer on fourth down. Here's an onside kick by McManus, and it's taken by Keith McGill. The Raiders had McGill on the front line, and he caught that ball right out of the air time as Brandon yep. McManus hit, hit the top of the ball and kind of popped it off the ground fast and popped it up in the air, and Keith McGill was there, the Raiders' safety. Yeah, I was afraid of that. That, that might have happened, you know, even though there's 10 minutes to go. Or whatever they had, ten minutes to go. Well, the guys, game. the Raiders were calling out the fact that they had the Broncos had Simmons, their starting free safety, in there on the covering, and so the, everyone on the front line was calling out, "Watch yeah. you on side, watch you on side." Good. Yeah, he is uh, Justin Simmons is a tremendous special teams player. Remember the game they won in New Orleans last year when they blocked an extra point? It was Simmons who blocked it and Will Parks who scooped and scored it. It was an amazing play yeah. to win that game. 10-20 to play now. Raiders starting on the Denver 48 after the fail. Denver on side. Marshawn lines up in a single back, and he is deep. He's standing on the Raider 44. The ball's on the 48, so he's eight yards deep, and he gets pushed back. Way Tom, so, again, you're talking about how deep you want Marshawn. He's yeah. eight yards back in the single back set. Zach Kerr came busting through, and by the time Marshawn hits the line, they're already pushing the Raider O-line back. Yeah, they're two yards deep in the backfield. I mean, that's uh, you're not going to get anywhere with that. Way too much penetration. And they have an eight-man box. Yeah. Well, it's hard. You don't have Amari Cooper uh, with a concussion. And you don't have Michael Crabtree who was kicked out of the game about three minutes into the game. So still, Yeah, you still have the tight ends, so though. You still have enough uh, enough people to run. Raiders go two by nice. two now, Coach. Seth Roberts, Johnny Houghton go wide right. Jared Cook, the tight end. Is inside of Patterson left. Here's a throw to Cook. High throw. And that allowed the tackle by Simmons to be easily made. And you wind up losing yards on that. So that's just a quick outcut. But nobody blocks Justin Simmons. I'm not sure what that play is going to accomplish. Well, it's a one-yard route. A one-yard route. So now you, you lost a yard, too. He went backwards. Third down, 11. Raiders are going to stay in the huddle now. 20 seconds to go on the play clock. Todd Downing with the rain coming down now. And it just started to rain, and it's raining pretty hard right now, huh, Link? Denver's playing a dime. And Link's getting his umbrella out. Derek Carr in the gun on third and 11. Three receivers right. Cook, Roberts, and Patterson. A roll and a throw to Marshawn Lynch. He's got blockers out in front. First down, Raiders 30. 25 goes airborne and dropped on the Denver 23-yard line. Perfect call. Perfect call. They came with a blitz, and they had a screen on, and, and Marshall knew, saw it coming. He, so he broke out a little sooner than normal, and the ball was right there. 26-yard pickup, Link, and a great block out in space by the wide receiver, Cordero Patterson. I think we lost Link's mic with yeah, the I rain. I think so, I think. But they came, with, they came with a blitz, and you catch them just right, and, and then they reacted to it just right. Well, it was wide open out the right yeah. side. He just threw the screen out where the blitz side was. Nobody laid a hand on Lynch till he hit the Denver 25 when he tried to run over the safety. Justin Simmons, first and 10. Raiders on the Denver 24. Roberts comes inside. Gun run to Lynch coming left to right. Marshawn sliding off Broncos. Will peck down to the 21-yard line. Derek in the gun. Marshawn to his left. They're going to meet. Bring Jared Cook in. And a wham block. Marshawn jumps over a pile inside the 15, close to a Raider first down on the Denver 14-yard line. Seven more. Good block there by Lee Smith. Tom. Yep. Boy, Marshawn Lynch is running great today. Really running well. His feet are so much quicker since he uh, missed the, the game and a half with the suspension. First down, yep. first down Raiders. The Raiders have reached the Buffalo Wild Wings red zone. Why settle for watching one sport at home when you could have all the sports? Never miss the best game again by watching them all at Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Marshawn, 23 carries, a Raider high, 64 yards, and the touchdown. First and 10 Raiders on the Denver 14-yard line, and now pre-snap penalty as they did hand off to Marshawn Lynch, but a false start is called on the Raiders. Here's our referee, Walt Anderson. 
Now he wants hold on to officials. Now before he makes the announcement, they have to separate some Raiders and Broncos who are pushing and shoving. Now Walt Anderson will get the numeral once he makes sure we don't have our second melee of the Ball game. Ball start, number 76, offense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. And it's on uh, John Feliciano is playing at right guard for Gabe Jackson. It was kicked out when uh, Crabtree and Tlaib got into their fracas. Domitov Pecco, by the way, was carted off the Broncos sideline, and then he walked off the last few steps up the, uh, the western tunnel back into the Bronco locker room. We mentioned earlier today, is his 123rd consecutive start, which is really impressive for a guy who plays over the nose in the NFL. And they're saying he's out with a knee injury. First and 15 Raiders after the false start by Feliciano back on the Bronco 19-yard line. Cook comes in motion again. And now Derek at a play action, going to roll for underneath the Cook who drops the ball. Oh. Dropped the ball in the left flat. Brought him across the entire formation, looking like a run action there, Tom, with a trap block. But it was a play action to Lynch on the gun run. And they wanted to get Cook left flat. And the ball was just a little wide and off his fingertips. Yeah, he could have dropped, dropped it. it. Yeah, he, he could have caught that. I mean, that was a catch of ball. He started moving up the field before the ball hit his hands. And he wouldn't have made, he might not have made the first time, but he would have been pretty darn close. To stop the clock. A field goal here would give you a three-score lead. Which would make it really hard for the Broncos. 6-10 to play in the game. So you want to work this clock down. Obviously, you want the touchdown. But even a field goal would put you up 17. Second and 15, Raiders. Gun run. Lynch going to reverse his field. Started left to right. Came back left. And the Broncos are all over it. Got a legal formation, guys. Or a legal. That's a flag, which will stop the clock again. And the Raiders. Walt Anderson will get the uh, infraction against the Raiders. Uh, I, I think it's a, either legal formation or legal procedure because I think Seth Roberts is moving. Either way, if it's against the Raiders, it'll stop formation. the clock. Number 73 was uncovered on the end of the line. Offense. Five-yard well, penalty. Still second it's down. It's not Marshall Newhouse's fault. It's the guy outside of him right. that made the error. And you say it was Seth? I think it was, that was Seth, moving? yeah. They were having trouble getting lined up. There was some communication errors, and Derek was under the gun because the, the play clock was running down. A reminder to make Burlington your one-stop holiday shop for the hottest gifts for everyone. Name brand watches, gift baskets, wireless, sweaters, toys at a fraction of the price. Burlington, gifts for everyone. Denver declined the penalty. They declined the penalty. You know, they want the ball back post-haste. It's third and 15 now. The, uh, even though they declined the penalty, the clock does stop on the penalty. So it's third down and 15. Right now, the key thing would be Tavecchio making a field goal here to make it 24-7. DeAndre Washington comes in. He'll line up to the right of Derek Carr in the shotgun. And the clock does restart after the penalty. Three receivers go right. Jared Cook is left one-on-one -on -one with the young safety, Justin Simmons. They blitz. Here they come. And a lob by Derek Carr for Jared Cook. Off his fingertips. A lot of bumping down the sideline, Tom. Yeah. But no flag on Justin Simmons. And the Raiders throwing forward. Stop the clock. Yeah, not a very good throw. But that throw was behind. And, and the other thing was short. And it was a back shoulder. It was back it was shoulder. Short, yeah, but it was still too short. It's got to be inside a little bit more. So Tavecchio needs to make this field goal now to make it a 24-7 game. And the Raiders would have a three-score lead. It'll be a 37-yarder for Giorgio. Tavecchio has had a really good first year in the NFL. He's only missed a couple of field goals, and one was blocked. Only really one was legitimately his. And as far as the miss, left-footed kicker, left hash, Kondo the snap, King has it down, Giorgio has it airborne, and it missed is it. It. no good. Tavecchio missed. Left-footed kicker, he missed wide left. Trevor Simeon throws a slant right off the chest plate of the shoulder pad there by Emmanuel Sanders. Let the ball get into his body, and he dropped the ball. It was delivered right between the one and the zero, but he didn't hands catch it, and it lands incomplete. Second and 10, Denver. 5.42 to play in the game. Giorgio Tavecchio now 12 for 15 on field goals, but that missed 35-yarder was opened it up. Denver is down two touchdowns now, and they've got time, and they've got two timeouts. Simeon in the gun, 
Three by one formation. They single up to Marius Thomas against Sean Smith. Simeon hits his back leg at a run. He'll slide forward. And he gives himself up at around the 30-yard line. He gains about five. That'll bring up a third down. I think he just hit his back foot, Tom. Didn't like what he yeah. saw. Pocket collapsing on there on the outside, so he ran and got what he could get. They're back up on the ball now. Third down, six, Denver. Demarius Thomas wide right. Two receivers left. They've also got trade of the tight end right. They throw a slant. Demarius Thomas with a catch on Sean Smith. Ball was slightly thrown behind Demarius on the slant. But he's got such big hands, he was able to reach behind him and make the catch on Smith. Gain seven on third and six. First down, Denver. Back on the ball with exactly five minutes to play. 21-7 Raiders. Jamal Charles lines up as an eligible. They go three left, two right. Simeon back, rolling left, throwing through the hands of Thomas. Incomplete. T.J. Carey, Navarro Bowman, they all arrived, Link, at the same time. Yeah. I think somebody tipped. It was T.J. Carey, I think, tipped that ball before Demarius Thomas caught it with his orange gloves. You know, Trevor Simeon has a nasty habit of staring down his receivers. I wonder if the defense can capitalize on that. Clock stops, 4.49 to go. The Raiders came away with their first INT of the year. Navarro Bowman got it. That was the play that kind of flipped this game around. Right after that, the Raiders scored and then scored again. They go up 14-0 in halftime. Second down, 10. Simeon back, plenty of time, chased by Mack to his right, throws, catch, Jamal Charles got buried, fumbled the ball, they're going to call that a catch fumble, or they're going to whistle no. it down, no, it wish. was picked up and run back, it is subject to review I believe, but because they whistled it down, Navarro Bowman would not get the scoop and the score, I don't think Charles had it long enough anyway, hey, time. he got hit the moment he touched the ball. Did they call that a complete pass? They, they called it incomplete. Oh, incomplete, okay. Incomplete, yeah. Yeah. And they whistled it dead. You can review that if you choose. You would not get the uh, the return part. And Simeon hit Jamal Charles. He got hit immediately by Nicholas Morrow. Did Charles put that away enough? Prod wants a challenge. Third and ten. Simeon back. Here's a blitz by Morrow. A throw middle and a catch by Jamal Charles. First down, Denver on their 47-yard line. That time, Link, they blitzed Nicholas Morrow. And left a wide open uh, wide Jamal open middle. Charles. Yeah, they're yeah. A little, middle. A little confused on that uh, coverage that time, leaving too much of a gap in the middle. Raiders have blitzed more today, I would think, under John Pagano than they have any previous game under Ken Norton Jr. Raiders changed defensive coordinators and play callers on defense on Tuesday. First and 10, 410 to play. Fake the gun run to Charles. Simeon pocket collapsing. Khalil Mack will get him and drop him. The Raiders' fifth sack of the day. And Khalil's first sack of the game. He, beat, yeah, he beat two guys in that. First that's one, exactly he, what yeah, I was going to say, Coach. <laughs> he beat Trader, the tight end, who was the first guy to approach him. And then the tackle after him went right through both of them. Now, he has 10 quarterback sacks against the Broncos in his career in eight games. And he has three this year. Here's Simeon now looking right. Simeon getting twirled around. Somehow does not get sacked. Gets out to his right. Throws incomplete. Wow. He almost oh, we got no. a hit here. Flag on Carl Joseph. He didn't even make contact. A defenseless hit against uh, the tight end, Austin Trailer. There was no contact. We saw contact. this in the Buffalo, Kansas City game. Yeah. They had a flag on E.J. Gaines of the Bills when he did not touch the, re the receiver. It looked like Carl Joseph pulled off and missed Trailer, but we had two flags, so two different officials saw it. Will they be able to conference here and pick up the flag? As Joseph was bearing down on Trailer, and he missed him. He did not hit him. Pass interference. Defense. First down at the spot of the foul. Well, who, is it on Morrow? <laughs> so they don't get the uh, the flag. Looked like it came down for a helmet-to-helmet -helmet defenseless receiver. They're not going to call that. They call the pass interference on Morrow. for Morrow for yeah. holding Trailer. Is that and it? He, and yeah. he was. He, he kind of did. He did. Number. Pass Ooh. interference with number. Number 50. Yeah, Number Nicholas 50 Morrow. He did, Tom. He grabbed her around yeah, the waist as he was changing hole, directions. More holding than pass interference, but when the ball actually came his way. The only thing is, did that occur when the quarterback broke the pocket link? Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. It looked like it did. Well, because said Simeon looked like he was sacked. He did a complete pirouette to get out of there. First and 10, 45-yard line of the Raiders. This game's not done. 
Simeon back has long time throws, and it's incomplete. Luckily, Latimer completely got dropped by the Raiders on the outcut time. Yeah, he that did. should have been a catch and an easy gain to stop the clock. He just fall down when the ball arrived. I don't know what happened to Cody Latimer. Oh, the, the, the ball like was slipped. so short. He slipped a little bit, and the ball was thrown a little bit wide. Did the wet field get him there, Link? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. He slipped. He ran an over route. He was in the left slot. He ran across the field in his zone. Raiders lost him completely. Well, he, he had to turn his body around to catch the back shoulder, and as he did, the, his feet just gave out on this wet yeah. surface. Jamal Charles back in, second and 10, Denver on the Raider 45, 327 stole to go in this game. Raiders up 21-7. Denver has a shot. They got a score right now. Simeon out to his left now. Throws. Catch by Latimer up the left sideline out of bounds to stop the clock. As Sean Smith is there, he bangs him out on the Raider 37-yard line. Clock stops with 319 to play in the game. It is third and short for Denver. Third and two. This game is not over. Well, now the, the legs are heavy of the defensive lineman. All these pass rushes. They're getting heavy and getting tight out there. Third down. They have a two-by-two two formation. Charles to the right of Simeon. Obi Melifonwu. Oh, pardon me. Nicholas Morrow is in 50. Simeon too much time. Throws. Tipped. Caught. A deflected ball caught by Latimer. Through the hands of the Raiders safety. Carl Joseph who had the ball. And an interception. But the wet ball again went right through his gloves. He undercut it. He had it intercepted. It deflected to Latimer who makes the catch on the Raider 20. If the Broncos score right now. They will not have to necessarily onside kick it. They've got two timeouts and a two-minute warning. They've got two receivers left, one right, actually two right. Simeon steps up. He throws for the end zone too high. And Joseph right up the back of the receiver there. Again, they're throwing to Austin Trailer, this young tight end they just found. He was on five different practice squads last year with Dallas, KC, San Diego, New England, and Baltimore. He played last week against the Bengals and caught four balls. They're trying to... Feed that big tight end time. 244 to play in the game. 21 to 7. Broncos bring in Jordan Taylor. He's not played too many snaps as a wide receiver. He goes wide right, watched by McDonald. Now they empty the backfield. Booker goes right. Three receivers go left. Here's Bruce Irvin around the edge fast, but seeming to throw wide open. Touchdown. Caught by Benny Fowler. Right down the middle of the Raider defense. Looked like a zone. Carl Joseph let him run, uh, came over late. Reggie Nelson let him run by. That was a zone time, and they had to. Yeah, it was a zone, but how can you let somebody get by there? There were two guys back there. You let a guy get deep. It's incredible. Playing grass and not man. So yeah. the, the Broncos with Trevor Simeon have come right back here. And so Benny Fowler just ran right through the middle. Is Morrow supposed to drop there in the yeah, linebacker Morrow, that's, that's For the zone, yes. He's supposed to drop back deep. He didn't drop at all. He didn't move. He I think started. it was his mistake. Nelson couldn't get there. And now the extra point by McManus is good. And we have two and a half to play in this game. Now, will Denver onside kick it? They don't necessarily have to. 2.39 to play. They have two timeouts and a two-minute warning coming. They're back into the game. He's going to kick away. As he lines, shoots it, it'll roll inside the Raider 10. Patterson in a run back to pick it up. And now he's going wide left. They're gonna, he breaks one tackle, breaks another, but he's dropped on the 12-yard line. So by scoring the touchdown with 2.39 to play, they did not have to go for the onside kick, and they didn't, Tom. So they've got two timeouts. There is a two-minute warning coming. And the Raiders will try to run the clock out. Remember, the heart and soul of the Broncos' run defense, Domita Peco, is out with a knee injury. Along so, with Derek Wolf. Along with, with Derek Wolf, who's been out most injury. of the game. Yeah, with a neck injury. He's been out since the first quarter, but Pecco just left, so it'll make it a little easier to run. Zach Kerr comes in. Adam but, Gotsis is in. But they're going to put a bunch of guys in the box, so it'll make it tough on you and force you to probably throw. You want to throw here, stop the clock. you got two timeouts left for Denver, 2.34 to play. They do not put Derek under center. They put him in the shotgun. And Marshawn to his right. Seth Roberts comes inside to crack. It's a gun run. And Marshawn Lynch gets contacted behind the line. He's going to lose yardage. Got and an Denver will box. call a timeout. Got an eight-man box. You can't run into an eight-man box out of the gun. Well, you don't have Crabtree. You don't have Cooper. Where's Cordero Patterson? He's not in now. Bigger-bodied receiver. Second and 13 Raiders back on their 10. Cook goes in motion to the left. Denver's loading the box. Here they come with Todd Davis. Marshawn gets hit behind the line. And they're going to slam it. Marshawn will fight out to the 15-yard line. But Denver will call another timeout with 2.24 to play. They bring in Clive Wolford, Link, not a great blocking tight end. 
Oh boy. Would they throw this ball? They're gonna they're gonna not gonna ask Clive to go in line. He's going out. They're trying to lighten the box here. Simmons, the safety, now has to go out to pick up Walford. They send three receivers right. They've got to pick up eight yards. Still got a seven-man box. Do you do you throw this now? Alawale. Here comes a blitz by Todd Davis. Derek back. Derek gonna lob one up in the air. Caught! Cordero Patterson! First down, Raiders go down! He breaks a tackle. He wants to score. The game's over. Just go down. He will be tackled on the 31-yard line. Denver's out of timeouts. It'll take it to the two-minute warning, and the game is over. Do you like that throw, Coach? I, wow. rest, I rest my case. <laughs> That's what Coach was asking for all along. Uh, <laughs> wow. What a catch by Cordero Patterson. Derek Carr link out of heat. Best play in football, the victory play. Derek will take a knee. He'll take it a couple of more times. The Raiders will win this football game. Denver Dow's lost seven in a row. They'll fall to three and eight. And the Raiders will get to five and six. Derek takes the snap, takes a knee. Marshawn Lynch takes a knee with him, I think. Derek will take a knee one more time here. And Marshawn will stay upright for this one. His quarterbacking days are over. Whether you're looking to change your air filter or replace your brakes, you'll find the parts you need and knowledgeable team members ready to help at Advanced Auto Parts. Let's get you back on the road. The one question I have as the final seconds tick off and the Raiders finish off this 21-14 win, suspensions for next week, Tom. Michael Crabtree, I think, is a prime candidate. Anybody else? Donald Penn, I saw him getting into it. A lot of Raiders came off the Raider western sideline to help defend Michael Crabtree, who was alone on the Broncos' eastern sideline. Any other Raiders we have to worry about uh, not being able to play against the Giants? I wouldn't think so. Not because of the penalty, not because of suspension. Uh, I think for uh, Talib will get suspended, as will Crabtree. I think uh, Penn because he threw a punch. But there's a lot of other guys that threw punches that are going to get fined heavily for it, but not suspensions. So. You can take the fine. And then Gabe Jackson was also ejected today for running into the official, but that should end uh, his problem. We'll see. Obviously, next week is going to be a critical game. If the Raiders can win next week to get to 6-6, six and six, you got a shot.